I don't yeah, I'm gonna say like. Wait, dude, let's say that. So happy. Who are your thoughts? Because you haven't like really been talking, but like, what are you like? What do you feel? Views on my judgment? Because um, no, I I totally agree with your judgment. I like that, that you said that he had the better argument um, because he posted that scan. Um, and again, I was looking at it from a holistic perspective, contextual perspective. Just because it says that particular novel is canon doesn't necessarily mean it fits in with the entire story of the entire Boruto, Naruto manga, film, anime. And so that's why I brought up other examples of where they they weren't necessarily canon. And and I I gave an example of uh, a complete contradiction that it didn't actually show how. Uh, in the novel or didn't really explain in detail how he was draining stars but it mm -hmm. does in the manga and the anime and i showed how that was achieved yeah. and it wasn't through the yeah. method that was explained in yeah. the novel so so the thing is right if you mm. if he if he would have never brought his original premise back up again i would have gave you the whole debate but what he basically said was it, it's just the add-on that it doesn't necessarily have to explain everything as long as it's just completely not different in a the sense then uh, it should still stand it's only just literally the only reason why I gave him the argument mm, point. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Yeah, because when I tell you, boy, you definitely did good in like that was that was really good. Hello? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was really good. That was really good on both sides. But okay, cause thing is, yeah, so y'all both so I mean, yeah. So because first, the first debate bullet like bullet like rhetorically stomping this this one. Yeah, happy just happy went crazy this one. So yeah, I mean, it's up to y'all. It's really up to y'all. Like, what do y'all think is better? Um, it could be up to like to what do y'all think is better? Like, well, bullet won the argument, but but like, I mean, I'm not. I don't. I don't like doing point systems definitely at all. But, but like that bullet definitely won the argument. So let's say if this yeah. argument tied into their next debate, then he can have he has all he has all the rights to use all the he has all the rights to use his arguments. If like because y'all this debate's gonna tie into the next one, right? Mm-hmm. Well then mm -hmm. this debate yeah. like tomorrow or something. Like, no, he's, not, he's not here. But yeah, so basically it basically oh, baby. Well, listen. Basically, basically, right. Basically, any any time, like any argument that was like, brought up here, right. Like, if I use like an argument from this debate, bullet can use bullet can use that argument because he won the whole argument in general. So, like, that's just like that's in stance, right? He won the whole argument in general. I, I don't think it's but, actually links the next past link to yeah. it, anyways. Like, but the next yeah. debate was meant to be like why Kagi is uh, DC compares to our AP, and I don't really see this stuff. It's not Boruto stuff. Hmm. Wait, how? Do Wait, 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 time out. I'm never, I'm not hating on Happy. Time out. I just gave Happy props. As a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a debater, as, as a debater, as a debater, you be, yeah, as I'm say. As a debater, I like, think, I'm not, I think like, me as well, based on the, based on the, the, the rhetoric that I shared, my, my say, narrative a, made more sense. As a debater, right? As a debater, I definitely agree that you need, you need rhetoric. You need rhetoric to like the debate. You feel me? That you need rhetoric to debate. And I, if you can, you know what rhetoric literally is? Rhetoric is literally convincing. It's yeah, literally no, convincing. No, I agree. It's because, yeah. but I'm saying the main, that, that, the main point for that is that he kind of like took the debate in a different direction. I'm saying that the, mm -hmm. it wouldn't matter regardless because in like a, in, let's, let's take like another debate example, right? You could like attack mm -hmm. something that's not related to the premise, like, and like win that and stuff, but that doesn't mean you're a better debater or anything. That's like attacking a completely different like issue. So that's not my problem. That's all I'm saying. So okay. like, that, that had nothing to do with our debate. Though. I, I get what you mean. You're trying, you're trying to talk about who had like, more control of a debate. And I do admit that mm -hmm. like, at some points, like, I let him like, control it and kind of drag away from it. But I don't think that actually mm -hmm. takes away from a debate and stuff. Because like, anybody, uh, like, uh, uh, anybody... That's what I'm saying. Like, it's not even a skill base. It's this, not even a skill base. Yeah. Thing. Anybody can take the debate away, like, literally. Okay, but, 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 do you, but, um, but you realize, I have to be fair, do you know why you really won the first debate? Do you know what you no, did I, to I happy the first debate? Yeah, do you, no, do you know what you I, did to happy the first debate? Okay, I think I won, like, the, I won the, that, that part of it controlling the debate, and I think I also won the on the premise part as well. So, like, I yeah, mainly based it off yeah. the premise thing, because obviously that's... Well, I'm mainly, well, I mainly based it off of, like, your arg... Like, your, when you were, like, the way you were, like, using your arguments, it was like, damn, like, this nigga, what are you doing this nigga right now? Yeah, that's I basically, I have, to, I have to do... Yeah, I have to, my, I have to apply the same that's logic. Like a, that's like a flashy kind of thing. Like, I'm just talking yeah. about if I prove my premise. But listen... No, I'm say, I think Happy just like only reason I'm giving him the debate win, right? 
is because this is a written rhetoric. Any, if you, you and listen, here's the thing, Bullet. If you use any argument, right, from this debate, and it, and if it ties into like any so debate, you're about like, yeah, you just gave him the rhetoric part. Or... Yeah, I gave him, I gave him the rhetoric. I'm not saying, I'm saying, I think he won, like he won, he won the quote. I think he won the quote unquote debate. But listen, right, yeah, the thing is, right, yeah. you're, you're you're straight because any argument that you had, right, in this like this debate here, in the debate you're about to do, you can use it and it will stand because you won the whole argument in general. That's what I'm saying. So you should, yeah. that's fine for you because you have a whole other debate, right? So it's fine if he wins this one. But any argument you use here, and if it ties into the next one, the argument stands. That's what I'm saying. So you're good. That's fine. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to just put... The other guy guy was saying that he won. I was just wondering... Here's a question I have with you there, boy, though. What (laughs) happens if what he uses is a direct contradiction to some of the stuff from the the manga or the or the see, 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 this is my problem right he's claiming that uh momoshiki can drain stars right but I'm, i showed actually, i showed that it, it doesn't do it in the method that he was talking about the whole time so if there's a contradiction then does that mean automatically the novels are more important than the manga okay, look, that it contradicts it all together because technically i had the better argument if we're basing it off contradictions actually, no, because no, you did. because okay no, you took it onto a side note. I just want to talk to the judge, right? So, like, we, we addressed this. I told you it fits perfectly into the narrative, right? It does. It doesn't fit perfectly, though, because it's a direct contradiction. contradiction. You're I saying that he just way drained I stars. Either way I win it. Why does it not fit? Uh, we already addressed it. Because it didn't fit in the story. It's contradicted by the fact that he doesn't use that method to absorb things. No, but... I gave oh, one, two, three, four, four different panels explaining the method that he does. Oh, Actually, I, get, I, 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 I gave it. It's not harvesting. It says absorb. Wait, no, it says uh, finally, uh, like... Uh, yeah, you're looking at the picture. I said the panel, the manga panel. What about the manga panel? Oh, this part. You know, this is, yeah, this is them harvesting the... Wait. You know, but it this says is in order to devour the life of planets, they absorb the chakra using the tree. But, but, okay, but I'm saying this is... Yeah, but that's a direct contradiction to the statement that I shared. How do you direct... So, no, meaning no, that it can't, it can't be, it can't be both. Look, dude, this is... They, the actual All right, well, now you're using ad hominem, so there's a fallacy to start with. Okay, no, no, uh, that, You just no, called me dumb. That's an ad hominem attack. You're attacking so, my character. Really ad hominem if I used that as an argument, right, and said, oh, well... It I was wanted- an argument. You said, are you dumb or something? Do you not understand? That's an no, ad hominem. You attack that. me. That's one fallacy. <laughs> Two more, you're out. <laughs> I call it a fallacy. Wait, 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 Okay, I want to. I want to talk about like, the fact that he just did an ad hominem and he called me dumb. Oh, you really, well, dude. Well, this is kind of like this is kind of like this kind of like intermission. This is like intermission oh, to like God. another debate. But um, I'm saying this right. No, I'm he, saying was this tra- he was trying to use that to downplay the argument. No, I'm, I'm saying, saying it. Okay. It's no relevant thing. Okay, happy. So I have a question for you. Right? Mm-hmm. Do you do you do you think if you would have won, if okay, I have a question for you because this is how my judgment also. I already put my judgment. But you think like you like you were pressed over the fact that he like would have won like he won the argument point. You think that he would have won the whole debate because he just won the argument? I'm no, asking you a question. No, what, no, 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 no. Yes. What what I'm saying is it'll completely contradict um other evidence. Like for example, this particular like I gave uh movie evidence, I gave anime evidence, I gave um the manga evidence. So you would have to deny three sources of credible canon. I already in order to that. believe his rhetoric. Yeah, okay. And he he already explained it. It's a thing. That's why but that's the thing, right? You literally you were convincing me. I'm saying you were convincing me. That's why I gave you the rhetoric point, man. You debated better than him. Yeah. You convinced but, me. You convinced but, me. But, but what I'm you, saying we're, we're is looking, that the argument the argument follows down my story, meaning that the evidence that I have supports what I'm saying more conclusively. Because otherwise, it's a direct contradiction to all listen, the other listen, evidence I pre- presented. Listen, right. Meaning, and he pre- and he presented. Yo, yo, but yo, in other words, you're basically saying the manga, the anime, and the movie that I shared is all non, not relevant no, to I'm the debate. Saying I'm saying no, no, no. I'm not saying you were saying he, that. I'm saying Dead Boy in his judgment by saying that you had the better evidence. Why that means that you're saying my evidence is not as important. That means that you think that the manga, the the anime, and the movie isn't sufficient to support my claim so if i if i no no but no but by by giving him the argument points by saying he presented better evidence that would be saying that that, that, that never came on and that when did i said like he presented better evidence came on i don't i don't actually do think you said you said the argument that's that's, that's not all i don't think there's a possible way he presented better evidence if you just sent if you just 
send evidence, you send evidence. I just said that his own premise in his first argument would have went on the argument point and the fact that he brung it back up. What I said was, actually, if he would have never brung it back up, he would have won the whole argument point because he would have forgot his whole argument from the jump. He didn't forget his argument mm-hmm. from the jump, so he brought it back up. That was his main argument. What you did was, which was good, you tried dragging him off of it, but that had nothing to do with from his main actual argument. But part like, of this, the pointing that you add for an argument is how much evidence you were able to provide to support your claim. He provided one panel. Look at all the he, evidence okay, I've supported. Okay, okay. And, he was, and his argument is based off of he doesn't need to provide anything. He that was literally what he did. Literally, literally, right? When you kept asking him questions, oh if listen, if you would have never, if you would have like, that's why I gave you the rhetoric point again. But you kept asking him questions. He kept answering. That's why he's like, that's where he fucked up at. But literally, he didn't even have to answer your questions. You realize that, right? Because if you remember his first argument, yeah. But you realize when you have was, multiple cross references that all point to the same conclusion that even even in the if we use the novel it still points okay. to the same conclusion and then that when I he brought it and listen and then when he brought it back up when he brought back his main argument back up you didn't even you didn't even attack it at all that's why i gave him an argument point when he brought it back up towards the end that's all i'm saying man you debated better than them that, that, like that should be a feat in itself that you debated better than that's why i would care about i don't care if you win the argument that's what i would care about if we just if we debated better than that. you debated better then you can attack some random thing though like i don't no, no. The thing is, I don't think you understand, bro. He just oh, he was able to you're, convince. You're, yeah. What you trying to say? You're trying to say that like the fact that he, he, uh, I actually allowed this to happen. That like kind of like is that? Yeah, he, he t- controlled the whole controlled debate. The he whole convinced thing. all of us that he was debating better than you. But your argument was just better. It just stand more. Now listen, if you would have never brought your argument back up again, I would have had to give him the argument point. But since you did at the end, then your argument still stood, and he I still didn't rebuttal it. He was rebuttaling something. He was, was rebuttaling. There anything, was there anything he Wait. brought up, right? Was there anything that he brought up that way I had to yield a point, right? Or that I just didn't answer? You said, was there anything that he brought up? Yeah. Was there anything that Happy brought up, right, that I couldn't rebuttal or that I yielded on? That's, I think I that's, that's based off, it. listen, that's based off of argumentation. I'm asking the way he debated. Okay, no, even if you're talking wait, about wait, argument, argument, I argumentation, argument, argument. but listen, Argumentation and the way you want argumentation, the way you debate is completely different from just argumentation. The, his debate style, right? He was aggressive. He was appealing to us. He was, appe- he was literally appealing to us. He was attacking your points. Yeah, isn't you can respond to it. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, listen. Like, it's not as chris. It's not charisma. Wait, wait. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's called charisma. I know. Like, retor- like rhetoric sounds like a fucked up system to use, but it's like it shows who debates better. Like, therefore, you can. That's what people lose. You win with losing debate, right? Because no, you, you can, can still convince. Be like- be the better debater but like not have charisma though do you get what I mean? okay and you didn't prove that this time the first debate what you did you did you did what happy did the first okay, no, debate I, you completely mauled him like, listen yeah the first debate you completely mauled him off rhetoric right thing is he did the same thing there's certain times when he was talking and you didn't even do like you really didn't respond you was just letting him you was letting him go that. basically yeah, you was letting him go off on you, basically. And like he was letting like letting you go off him, That's right? Like, so, like, imagine there's a guy, right, who shouts louder than you. You, you wouldn't argue he's a better debate. I'm not I'm, I'm not he saying that he's I'm not he didn't shout. That's the thing. That's like that's a false equivalence. Okay, it's the way he, okay. it was Let's debate say somebody now. keeps on butting in, right? I'm more let the other person speak. It doesn't mean he's a better debate. Yeah, he did that. He did, yeah, yeah, and when he lets you and, and listen, and every time he lets you speak, he attacked all your points, bro. Okay, I'm not sure what the problem is. I, I you won what wait, 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 bullet. You won a point? Are you actually you won a point? Are you want you want to debate okay. and happy going to debate. What are y'all both mad about? Look, y'all have a tiebreaker I, next. No, look, because I I won the whole thing at all, right? Like, so it counts as two. No, but what I want to address, right, is that like, it doesn't. No, okay. Mean, okay. Look, it doesn't mean you are a better debater just because you have more charisma, just because like you speak, you know, you're talking and you're not letting like the other person speak. Bro, I never I never said that he was necessarily a better debater. He just debated better. Y'all can figure out who the better debater is next. That will be the tiebreaker. Because look, every time that'll be the tiebreaker. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm, look, that'll I'm be the tiebreaker. Because listen, right? Oh, well, listen, right? Because you can have bad feats. Happy wasn't debating too good for the first debate, and you weren't debating too good the second debate. That's perfectly fine. Okay, look, now, listen, now, but, listen. Now y'all know the standard. Okay, go ahead. Okay, look, that's what I want to tackle, right? Because I, I just want to quickly like, because um, I, I, I can see you're trying to make a judgment of yourself, right? But with your judgment, right? Like, he, okay. He took me off like off topic, but I still addressed everything he said, and I didn't yield on any point, and I still won every point. So I don't even understand the whole like uh, rhetoric part. It's just like he just maybe did he, a, he did a better. Not not even that he's just louder, bro. He just 
his his speech his speeches were more coherent this time. He was just, he was aggressive on your points. He attacked all your points. He attacked your points with a reason. Them, listen, every listen everything you brought up. He had he had a he had a problem to solve it. He had a problem to solve it. Just that in the third. Okay, a, listen, and, listen, and, and, it, and it wasn't even argumentation. It was based off his rhetoric. He was asking you questions and stuff. He was literally he was making you explain yourself. The reason why he won the rhetoric no, point because listen, it. listen. The, the reason why the reason why you won it why he won the point because he literally made you get off your original point, which would have which you could have won. You could have one tapped him. He made you go on a whole twenty minute tangent. If he someone can make you go on a whole twenty minute tangent on, and take you away from what your original point was. That that's why I think he won a rhetoric point, and I even and listen, and, and I even said, and both, and I even debated good at the end and the beginning. But throughout the whole debate, he took you away what your original point was, okay, and the point that, that I, and the reason why I gave you the argument. Listen, the reason why I gave you the argument thing was because he literally because you brought it back up. All okay, I'm so saying surely, is, surely the argument thing should determine who actually won the actual debate, and that's all that matters. No, okay, that's why I literally asked him, right? That's why I literally did this. I said because I knew this was gonna happen. I asked him, what do y'all think made forms and debate better? Who debated better or who just won the argument? Hey, look, if I made him like yield, like, or like, uh, if I tackled every single topic, I, don't, I can't see him like uh, actually making the, like, being he, the okay, he had better, he had better persuasion and stuff like okay. that. He made, he convinced me more just, be, just because I already explained this like, like a lot of times, right? Bullet. Just won't with your original bullet, with your original point, right? You could have one shot him. You that could, debate could have lasted five minutes. The fact yeah. that he literally made you even send one scan because your your whole argument you didn't even have to send a scan. The the fact that he that he made you send the scan bullet is the, that's why I think he won a rhetoric thing. You didn't even have to send anything. Listen, you didn't have to send anything. He wait, wait, wait talking about he made you he made you go on a twenty five to thirty to twenty something minute tangent that, that he made you bring up other points. You literally only had to make one point bullet, and he literally made you he can like, he can yeah he can follow you in a way to make to bring up other shit, bro. I'm not gonna cheat both. Listen, it's like a, I'm not gonna cheat both of you, my nigga. Like it's fine. Like I'd understand if you too old him or he too old you, but I literally gave the reason why I let you win the first debate because your rhetoric was crazy. It was it was it was it was like it was really good. The reason why I'm giving him this one is because his rhetoric. I can't do each. I can't do one and like you know but, not okay, the other. This is what I don't understand, right? You said originally, right? Uh, that I like, just even overall, like I'd won the debate because you know. The whole like debate argument, the argument part is the, it's the most important part. But now you're saying it's a tiebreaker. That's why. why I never wait. Wait, tell me. I never said that. I never said that. I said he won. Point. But, okay, but any art. Listen. Listen. Well, well, listen. Any time. Anytime, anytime, anytime you have a argument, right? Anytime you have an argument, right? That you use in this debate, going forward to the next debate, it stands. You were able to use it, right? You can use anything that you argue from this yeah. this debate. To the other debate, and he cannot debunk it because it stands because you not he was not be able to debunk I, I it. That. I understand that, right? So that's okay. I understand like how you kind of measuring it, but I'm not measuring like that. I just want to know because these are all separate debates, right? So like I want to know who, who won the first one. I okay, to, wait, time out. wait, time out. Okay, okay, okay. It ties in. I literally told you it was gonna tie. Then then okay, okay, happy. These, then these it, 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 then yeah, uh, so what I understood, this is what I understood, right? Was mm -hmm. that basically these are just um this this isn't the whole debate. Like these are oh, no, just these are separate different. Debates. I said I wanted yeah, to but the, but whever wins the debate is a whole one, right? Isn't isn't that wasn't that established at the beginning? No, it was established that like they all separate debates, and I've won the first debate, and now we're going. Wait, so the, bullet, what yeah. bullet? You're literally trying to. I'm trying to help you out, and you're trying to not help yourself. Okay, that's fine by me. I, okay, no, fine. Fine. Fuck. I was trying to help. Dude. Wasn't I just trying to? Wait, wait, wait. Dude. Okay, everybody here. Oh, bullet. I'm literally trying to help you right? out. Yeah, I I, I, okay. I I understand that it moves on to the next thing, but I'm I'm just saying that is there a way to determine who won the second debate? Just like overall. Okay, I think in my personal judgment and everyone else's judgment too. That's what I'm saying. My judgment is not the only judgment that mattered, right? Yeah. If anything, I wanted to give y'all a stalemate, but I hate doing that shit. I wanted to stalemate y'all. I literally, I literally, I wouldn't. I want to say it was a tie, but it's retarded. Who wants a tie? Yes, I'm saying. Who wants a tie? So I asked everybody. Listen, I asked everybody, right? Everybody here. That's why I also asked for further, like you know, shit, like further shit, right? And they all agreed that Happy won. I still stand by this that you won the argument. So any argument, so any argument you use, it's only by a couple votes. That's what I'm saying, but like it's a tiebreaker. 
literally stomped him the first time, and he just beat you rhetorically this time. Like so, so, so I'm saying, like y'all can go on to the next one. Y'all can go on to the next one. Like I'm not gonna cheat any either of you if I I, like, I heard what I heard. And, and in my <laughs> opinion, I think it, this will resolve everything if we just get onto the main debate instead this of fucking around like, with all this other shit. This is yeah, like, yeah, because they, cause, yeah, this is like, every, every, everybody here is to, to figure out if Kaguya is Moon Plus or not, and you're just trying to focus on this other shit that's not even relevant. Yeah, like bullet, like, like bullet, man. You won, but 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 bullet. And thing is, well, and bullet thing is right. But bullet, do you what do you what do you care about? Do you care about being a better debater than happy or do you he cares care about, about wins by the looks of it? I don't care about the wins. I just want to prove the point that she's Kaguya or not. Okay, yeah, exactly. And then so if you're looking at points, right? Then I'm winning on the points, right? Because if you actually search up what the actual definition of a debate is, it's a formal discussion on a particular matter, uh, matter right, in a public setting, which is about like a I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you, bullet. I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you a serious question. Do you prefer do you prefer this easier system where I just see who won based off their argument and their rhetoric, or you want me to do a trash ass point system? Which one you want me to do? I'm not. Uh, I'm, 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 point system. Oh, you mean like well, I'm doing yeah, the whole uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm not no. doing yeah. And okay. the points, yeah, the point system, the point system can get no, really, I get your, you know, I get, yeah. I get that's your, what I'm saying. I, I get your point, but what I'm trying to say is, even on a rhetoric part, right? Even if we like consider that, right? The only thing he has over me is that he made me go on for like 20 minutes, but I have everything else over him. Like, literally, like, I rub to a point, what's the premise? That's exactly uh, I think that's why. subjective. I can argue otherwise. The time out, that's exactly uh, why you won the argument one, bro. The time out, that's exactly why you won the argument one, bro. I'm literally saying he just debated better than you. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. He debated better. You debated better than him. I don't I've never under, I never like heard of this before. Like you you y'all tied. Just break the tiebreaker. If you really think that he's that much worse than you and you really want to prove something, then you'll be able to do it the next time. Literally all your arguments stand. Anything that you argued in this debate will carry on to the next one. I literally gave that to you. But I'm just saying that he just won that one. I'm so so in the listen, in the main debate, in the main debate, listen, in the main debate is the Makage Moon level shit. So anything you use in this debate. And it stands, it will help you out in the next one. So if anything, I'm doing you a favor, my nigga. Okay, I'm literally, you know, as I was saying, it's becoming excessive, so we'll just move on. Whatever. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like he just, yeah, it's it's tie, it's just a tiebreaker, and that's why he even gave everyone else's judgment just because if I if I thought this was like I was wrong, I'll never cheat. You no, know, like online people on like who won the debate, and I'm not going to cheat nobody on that. Like, that's retarded. Okay. Like, Fine, so go ahead, y'all. So now, uh, I might get yeah. that later. All right, so yeah. now we're going to stay, stay on on this, right? I think now we're on any, to the next topic, right? The next topic, right? So if if any arguments that Bullet had in this debate, right, there's if they correlate, there. uh, there's none. All right, I'm just saying. So if anything, if you had like any scans or something like that, and you just want to tie it into like you know this, then it's canon. It works. You you can use it. It stands no matter what. But just know that um, this is the tiebreaker. And um, yeah, I would still be basing it off of argument, like arguments and like rhetoric, because I don't find point systems really to be fair at all. So yeah, I'll just do it like that. And even if I don't, and that's why and running. And if if the same thing happens again, we'll just do the same thing again and just ask the whole VC, which is fine. So now I can go on to our next debate. Pretty sure. Okay. So do you want to make your premise? Uh, so the topics that we're talking about is. Kagia, Kagia's AP scales to Moon Plus, five C yeah, so level. Yeah, we're saying Kagia's Moon level, right? Okay. And I think the other, like this, was combined, right? From from what I understood, you also wanted to talk about Momoshiki. No, Am I, I wrong I in that, or no? No, I didn't want to. I, I literally said at the beginning, there's three things. I said the we won the first debate, and then if the Momoshiki, uh, sorry, but if the Boruto movie novelization is canon. And then you uh, address your thing about the whole you saying Kagi is moving. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so just yeah, Kagi's AP scales to Moon Plus. That was that was my premise. Okay, so like, do you want to like start with like an opening statement? Like, why do you think she's moving? Well, up? I think you have to go with your premise first. We're not doing this again. You forget to state your premise. What, what do you mean? You just stated the premise. The whole premise is the if you think she's moon level or something, right? Yeah. So what do you think? No, but you make you have to give your opening like statement or something. Give me okay, who wants to who? Okay, who wants to go first? Who wants to give the first argument? Yeah, we know your both your premises. Your premises are literally in judgment. I mean, I, yeah, I mean, we know it. Okay, so who wants to go first? I can, I mean, I I can go I first care. if you want. To... Okay, yeah, sure. All right, so it bullet. So just give your give your first argument. It's not a premise. Oh. Just give your argument first. We really know what you're debating about. Okay, well, I would just argue that like um, there's characters way above moon level, 
and that you could easily argue that they're like at least star level or like above or whatever. They're, all I need to prove is that she, they're above like moon level. Moon plus. Yeah, moon plus. All I need to do is prove that they're above that. Okay, and then do I have to say anything else? Because I I already stated. No, wait, no, you don't have to. No, but you can. Just, it's like your goal. Like, okay, you can like you make an argument. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Y'all, we already know what y'all think. Uh, you just do your arguments now. Okay. Okay. So, no, it's his, okay. His, his premise. So I'm guessing that he thinks she's moon level because of like moon level, certain moon level feats, right? Like what moon level feats are you talking about, Happy? Hagoromo, uh, and because Kaguya and Hagoromo and Hamura all thought they were relative to each other. And so that would put them at moon level. And then we've also got... Actually, that's just for Naruto, so we don't need that one. That's not relevant. But yeah, that would be the best feat for Kaguya scaling. Okay. You is um, Hagoromo and Hamura. Okay, do you have a scan for this moon level? Mm-hmm. So we know that Hagoromo uh, and Hamura counts. together fought uh, Kaguya. Okay. So I can post that first. Hang on. So we got this not at all. And um then wait, is this Calx? Yeah, this is in Calx, right? So this is the um, Hagoromo made the moon. So that would put him at moon level. And then yeah. you also wanted uh, one for, um, what was it? Uh, Hamura and, what do you call it? Hagoromo fighting together. Okay, so this feat here shows that like uh, Hagoromo made the moon, right? Right? Yeah, I'm just um looking for the other one that has Naruto and I'm trying to find that before I go on because I don't want to um establish just that it was the one. Okay, just to establish, you think the Hagoromo made the moon, so he caps out about moon level based off this, right? Okay, my first problem with this would be that, like, uh, Hagoromo is doing this while he's weakened. Because, look, it states right there, like, in his final moments, and it stayed to happen after the... It stayed to actually happen after, like, his fight with Kaguya, directly after, because he's sealing her away. Right? Um, hang on. I miss... still haven't found this scan. Oh, here we go. The one that I'm talking about, that it's actually Hagoromo and Hamura that fight Kaguya together. And it, this was re-established when Naruto and Sasuke fought Kaguya again. And this point is important because Kaguya was suppressed into when, when she was fighting uh, Hagoromo and Hamura into she lost to them. And the 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 kind of the reason why like but for both Sasuke and Naruto and for both Hagoromo and Hamura is as uh she states these two they're Hagoromo and Hamura's like they're like reincarnations of my two sons and okay, so, so let me just understand your argument right you're saying that like um, the Kaguya that fought Hagoromo and stuff is only moon level because Hagoromo only has like his feet right that's what you're saying yep but I'm saying that uh, but I'm going to add to what I haven't quite finished yet is that both of them together defeated Kaguya because both of them were her children. Whereas if it was specifically just Hagoromo who beat Kaguya on her own, then it would directly scale to like whatever his best feat was. But the fact that yeah. it required both of them to defeat her, that would suggest that there's a little bit of difference in the power balance. So the fact that it required two people to beat Kaguya is why I state Kaguya is Moon Plus. And the fact that Hagoromo only managed to achieve uh, uh, 
and and it's 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 arguable you that it is a moon level feat, if anything, because there's two Happy, of can you repeat, like, two of them. Like what you said, like start from like just a minute ago. I missed that beginning part. So Kaguya should be stronger than both Hagoromo and Hamura. And the reason no, for that is because that. I understand that by also yeah, question. is because there's two of them and both of them together were able to defeat Kaguya. Okay, and no, the, th okay, the thing, the thing with that is that even though uh, the t both of them together uh, defeated Kaguya, they would never have done so unless if they were her children. And so that further shows that their feat wasn't as uh, amazing as it was. The same also applies to Hagoromo creating the moon because he cre uh, didn't create it alone. If he didn't have Hamura there, and if they didn't defeat Kaguya, okay, dude, they would never have been able to to create the feat in I, itself. This so you'd this have up. to you'd have to bring it down. Okay, look, I'm I'm just gonna quickly wrap this up, right? This feat was done while Hagoromo was like weakened. He's clearly stayed with like the last, the last of his. No, this feat was done with like, the help of Hamura, so it doesn't wrap it up. Even if it was, they both they both weakened because it says in this no, moment. but right? so was Kaguya. Like, arguably, the last of his strength. Look, look, it says that right there, with the last of his strength. After they beat Kage, right? So yeah, but he, can, can you prove matter. that he could have done it without uh, Hamura? Okay, now, I just need could to he have, just... Could, could, no, can you answer the question? Would he have been able to do this feat without Hamura? What? Would he, Would be he have been able to game? complete this feat? In other words, defeat Kage, defeat the Ten Tails, seal the Ten Tails, make it into a moon, all alone. Oh, it doesn't matter. He's at least it does matter, because if he couldn't do it alone, then he's not relative. Well, no... Look, take for example, if there's two people, he would have got steamrolled by Kaguya. That's my point. Okay, no, but I'm just proving. And he never would have been able to, with the yeah. last of his chakra, make oh, the moon in the first place. Level. So there wouldn't be a moon level what? feat if you're it wasn't for the fact this. that there was two of them. Okay, you're gonna see where I'm going with this because right, just because there's two people, right, or one person is taking on those two people, right, it doesn't mean you're not relative to them because otherwise you'd get blitzed or and one shot, right. But anyway, moving on to like what I want to get onto, right. Kaguya has better feats, right? She can literally create dimensions, right? And no, we haven't established that. You have to prove okay, that. Okay, this is, this, is the, this is the claim within this premise, right? And then I'm going to use it to prove like, why they're above like moon level. It's really easy. So, so are you moving on from this point? This, okay, yeah, no, because I'm going to address it, right? I'm going to prove right, that. Why, well, why, let's why, see like, how you address it. I'm just going to prove that this feat's not like, valid, right? And you're, I'm, I'm just going to prove that this feat isn't that impressive and it wasn't even done by full power Hagoromo or uh, Hagoromo Hamura, right? So moving on to the um, her what? dimension creation, her dimensions have stars within them, right? Right. We actually Can you prove see that. Well, we see. Do you want to scan why her dimensions have stars in them? Can you prove that? Can I prove what? That she made those stars. Yeah, I, I can prove that she made she made her dimensions. Go ahead. All right. Okay. No, you have to prove that those stars were a part of her dimensions. That's that was what I said. What What do you mean? What did you say? Well, there's multiple evidence to suggest that the dimensions are only moon level in size. And I'll explain why later. But the point is, is that okay, you'd have okay. to prove that those stars are indeed part of her dimension. Just because the ninja world has stars in the sky doesn't mean that's part of that ninja world dimension. You have to prove okay. that the solar system is part of that dimension. Okay. You know what a dimension is? It's like, it's, uh, we had established this in our like, uh, other debate, right? It's that no, we didn't. Space, well, this right? is a new debate. Okay, yes. Okay, well, now we're talking. So about establish what you tried to establish. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll re-establish it actually. Fair enough. Yeah, so that's probably a better idea. Pretty much. Pretty much, right? I'm gonna send the scans, right? She creates her dimensions, right? And a dimension is like a. No, she doesn't. Like... Okay, but let me finish, right? Okay. Now she weaves and creates all of these dimensions, right? And she also has the expanding proof seeking orb that actually expands, right? And if I expands and consumes and destroys the, the entire dimension, right? And it's complete an entire time space. Now, when you use, when you say something like time space, right? That encompasses the actual dimension because you're affecting its actual like time, time space, which is we talk about like its width and the length and it's expanding and how it's expanding and stuff, right? And if it encompasses star and stuff, right? Then destroying that dimension would be star level. And now the reason it scales to no, AP, because right? they have to include the star in the dimension. If the dimension is not part of the star, or if the star is not a part of the dimension, that doesn't mean it's a star level feat. It'll just be destroying the dimension. And a perfect example that would debunk. Okay, let me, let me, let me, let me, because well, if you want to go from the versus fandom, it actually explains that dimension does not interchange with 
anything else, it defaults back to pocket dimension. So unless if you can okay. prove its size and that there's direct statements stating this is a solar system size dimension or this is this is a oh, planet easy. or unless if this is <laughs> uh, a moon. A no, no, I'm but you haven't let me finish my point. The point is, is that the, you, you have to you have to within a work of fiction prove that dimension means something. Because otherwise, dimension could mean world, it could mean moon, it could mean uh, no, solar universe. system, it could mean universe, it could be multiverses, it could be an omniverse. You, yes, you don't know. Right. No, but no, you okay. haven't established exactly what is in those dimensions based on statements from within the work of fiction itself. Because that's what the fandom demands, that you prove the size of the dimension in order to claim the amount of AP. Otherwise, if you can't prove the dimension size, it says that you have to give her the uh, uh, the attack potency based on her best feats. And I'm saying her best feat was up against Hagoromo, which would make her relative to moon level. Okay, you said I need to define how big the dimension is, right? So the dimension is, yep. you have to define what dimension is. What, by dimension, we mean like that expanding like um, space, right? It can be three dimensional, whatever, but it has length and width, right? And now we see, so it means like it consumes out what we see, right? And we see like the star within it, right? So it's at least star level. Or you could even claim it's even higher, but there's probably no need to do that. All right, so this is directly from the official fandom, right? It says this. I don't care about right. the fandom, dude. Like, why are you appealing to them? I just want to hear the argument. It's Where's not it? an appeal. It's because, like, you, you're, you're trying to tear her into star level, right? But it explains clearly, as of now, we do not consider higher dimensional constructs as being necessarily infinitely greater or lower dimensional equivalents until further context as to their nature and size is provided by a work of fiction. So you have Did to you prove need... from the story yeah, itself, I... like the manga... You haven't you haven't provided any scans. Look, if something was called a dimension, no, what, what, what scans have you provided in the work of fiction to prove the size of the dimension? Yeah. Because from what you're saying, yes. it, it could be anything. And and then if you actually read the last sentence, it has to be either placed unknown or simply reasonably scale relative to their best feats. And that's why I said yes, and ex ex the, her exactly best feat is a moon level feat. Therefore, she's moon level plus. That's not the best actual feat because like expanding free seeking orbit. Well, then show me. Right? Show me and what's her best feat then. Prove it. Okay. So she can create these dimensions, right? No, she can't. Okay, you right, haven't no, established she... that. You need to prove okay, it. Fine. Let me send this. You can't just me. say that she does these things. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to send the scans in. All you have to do is ask for the scans and I'll fucking send it to you. Please. If that's what you wanted, you should have just said so. I said it multiple no, times. Prove it. Show me the scans. And then you just kept talking and trying to change the rhetoric. But you never asked for them, right? You have to ask for them for me to provide the scans. I did. Why do I keep asking to prove it from a work of fiction to that what panels no, have you sent about, like, to prove your point? Stuff, right? You didn't ask for the. It's really easy. Dude, if you want the fucking scans, right? Easy. Yeah, so I wanted two scans from you, okay? The first is that she created dimensions. I demanded that before. You can listen to the recording. The second, I demanded I that you prove the size of the dimensions within the work of fiction. I did. Why the fuck would I mention this then? No, you literally like, oh, well, prove it, right? But then you are also talking about like, oh, also like, then you brought up this thing about like, oh. Yeah, so prove it from the manga panels. Here I am asking for them. Now prove it. Okay, look, we're here now. And I'm going to send you the fucking scans, right? Even though you didn't actually ask for it. Me, I just asked for them. How the fuck okay, did I not ask for them? them? Are you ignoring me? I think you're listening no, to your own arguments. You're them. just straw manning me. I'm not straw manning you, right? Yeah, you, you said that I didn't ask for the scans. I just fucking asked for the scans. Scan me the scans. Yeah, you, if you, you say it one more now, time that I didn't ask for them. Dude, okay, good. I'm glad that you agreed that I actually asked. No, for once. You asked now. I'm not going to give them to you because you asked them. You just chose to ignore me. There's a difference. I didn't choose to ignore you. I'm literally giving you the scans now. Hurry up and send them. Okay, relax. Okay, I'm gonna send it to Calx. Okay, that's her being stated to actually create the dimensions. There's the star in the dimension. Okay, so let's address the, the, the problem of actually creating dimensions. First of all, that's a name fallacy. You've, you're relying on a title that says creating dimensions as she pleases, the divine power of the founder that awakened her eyes, right? There's, there's multiple examples of the data books using name fallacies in the actual um, titles, and they have no correlation to the actual abilities. So, for, ex for example...
No, it doesn't make sense. And I'll explain why. It's if you read like the that's actual that's panel, okay, listen to me. The Amano Minaka panel is explaining a teleportation jutsu. You read everything on that well, panel, not once does it mention creation, it's set for in the title. Therefore, it's not, it's not actually, it's actually about, about creation. About and I'll even it's explain it again, that the actual um, title itself, this has been mistranslated. You said it yourself in the last debate that the fourth no, data book had yes, never been so. translated. No, you, no, you did say that. You did say that. You said that the fourth data book had never been translated. Therefore, it should be not a problem. Remember, you can't use ban translation. You've only brought this up. And also, no, you no. What? Not dead boy. Literally said anything that we talked about in the last one. We can we can bring it back up again. Anyways, the point no, no, is wait, is that wait, Data Book Four has not been translated. Not 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 in this. I'm not talking myself. about the first debate. I'm talking about the exact debate we just had before, and you talked about this being from the fourth Data Book is not translated. <clears throat> And it's a fan translation. So the point is, oh, is that because it's a fan translation, we can look at, therefore, it should be reasonable to look at the original. Dude, you want to look at Not happy, let, let, let Umbilla talk, because you, you did cut him off three times. Yeah. Okay. So it's yeah. Let him talk. Okay, look, dude, so you want the kanji, right? Because this is like a fan translation. Uh, sorry, a fan translation, right? Okay, that's fine. I'll give it to you. You just need to ask for it. Uh, let me see if I can find it. I have it. I can send it. Oh yeah, go go ahead. I also have like other translations there as well, so that should be cool. Okay, I'll send it. You can send it. I'm just trying to find. Oh, you find it. All right, that's cool. I'll send it to Calx. There's one more as well. I'll find it. I've got like this weird no data bank stuff. What? This came up with no nothing. That's looking at the wrong kanjis anyways. Oh well, yeah, I know that's just one statement. I'm just gonna bring up the other one as well. Because I've got like the other one as well. And this is gonna become like a semantics issue, isn't it? But we'll see. No, well, well, if it's, because uh, if it's not supported by feats in the actual manga, the anime, uh, then it's not a semantics. It's just a name title. Because that's well, like saying, well, like I, I said before, Kuruma, Kuruma destroying the world is a direct statement from the manga. I mean, the, the data books. But it's never actually proven within any of the feats within the show. And it's in the title in the same manner that it is. Here's another one. Temari is universal. So, like, like no, based no, no, off no. what you're what you're suggesting is that the the titles themselves are conclusive evidence to support claims, but we've never seen Tamari using her fan to blow away the universe. Wait, look, dude, I'm gonna address that. I can, I'm, I'm looking for my scan. Right, hold up. So these are only titles. These aren't actual I'm conclusive gonna... evidence. It would be a nominal fallacy to rely on the title. I'm gonna address that. Where is it? Here's an example of a title right, that is what? clearly hyperbolic. Okay. So what do you actually think the translation says? Like uh, the part about her creating her dimensions and she loses. But I thought yeah. you were looking up that you were explaining the kanji to me. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to explain the kanji to you. So the term terminology actually used like when she's actually creating it is like weaving, creating. Does that make sense? No, that. that's not the kanji established. Okay. What is the what kanji think... and what does it mean? Hmm? What, does the kanji what was mean? the kanji okay. and what does it mean? Okay, if you actually look at the bottom part, right? But the bottom part used is like uh, usually like a term within kanji used to like mean weaving and stuff, right? No, so, uh, weaving that's not what the kanji means. Like, okay, what does it mean then? I want to hear your interpretation of it. 
So do you know, do you even know what kanji um, like means, like the part that you're saying? Like, do you even know yeah. where it comes no, from in the data book? So, so, what, so, no, so, so what's the name of the kanji? What's it called? How do you say it in English? I can't actually pronounce it, but it's right there. So you don't know the kanji and you don't know the meaning. So therefore you're no, I relying on, know the meaning. I just don't you're relying on a fan translation that you don't understand. No, I do fucking understand it. I literally explain well, so, it. So then what, what's the word what and what does it, it what mean? Do you think it means? What, what do you think what, it means? What's the word that they used? To you to explain create in the fan translated. What where did it come from? What's the word that they chose to use in the the raw Japanese? Because it wasn't create. Okay, I'll, I'll the word for creation know. is skudu. No, but right? look, the actual term used. But they didn't use it. skudu. Okay, so what did they use? What term did they use? That's what I'm, I'm like. You're the one that's claiming that this really does mean create. No, you're claiming. You're claiming. You're claiming it doesn't mean uh, creation, right? So. So the kanji. I'll, I'll I'll teach you what it actually means. It's it's sumugu, right? Which means, and in the top left, you might not be able to see. It, it's a bit small. To spin, to make yarn, to spin, yeah, uh, to assemble, or to put together. So, and then the wording that they use, they didn't actually use dimension. They use kukan, and kukan oh, no, means space. I that means dimension. Remember. But Don't you didn't prove that what dimension means. Okay, look. So we know that like it was actually compared. We know there's like actually this scan with the kanji, right? And it talks about like Kakashi's dimension. I mean, it talks about like Kagi's dimension, and they compare them and they talk about and they use the same terminology as them. So them using the same terminology, calling the common we dimension a dimension, right? And then because we know can you prove that? Trans yeah, but this translates because like, I can Kagi's prove dimension. it's the other way around. Wait, what do you mean? What's the other way around? That they don't use uh, dimension. So they don't use dimension for what Kakashi's commonly. No, no, no. For Kaguya's ability, the Amina Minaka panel, they never state that yeah. she created uh, a dimension no, I'm ever gonna get that. using no, okay. that in Sharingan. Okay, do we agree? Ever. Okay, do Not we agree once that the in the man used... manga or the anime. Okay, do we agree that the term used means dimension? No. Order? Because usually they use that term, right? They use, they use it to mean like. Um... Not for Kaguya. Make right. They use it to they compare it to like Kakashi's dimension and stuff, and they use the same terminology. And stuff. Do you understand that? Look, I'll send. I'll send you the scan. I should have it right. So there's two points that I still want to have addressed. Is that one, you're relying on the title, and and I've okay. also proven that, for example, the um, Kurama sealed inside Naruto is a powerful force that could easily unleash on the world. And then I've also shown um, this one, that this one here, for example, that Tamari. Okay, I'm has, gonna address this first then because I don't I don't want you like shotgunning because it's weird. You're kind of like bring up multiple points. So the entire yeah, universe away. Wait, okay. and before before we get uh, um continue um I didn't say anything about the fallacy count yet. But do y'all want do any do any of y'all want a fallacy count or no? Are we not doing fallacies or we are? I mean, as I'm asking, I didn't. I, I never know. say anything. I know. I'm asking. Have you, been, have you been counting this whole time? Well, we well, we could start counting because like yeah, okay, like the yeah, shotguns so, and stuff is right. getting out of hand. Okay, starting. And y'all, y'all, yeah, y'all yeah, call out, y'all call out y'all fouls. So, and what, what, what do you want? What do you want the limit to be? Three or five. Uh, I don't know. Like, what's the usual limit? I don't know. Like, I think it's three. usually three. Isn't it? It's usually so, three. Three. So I, I, I would like to call out this nominal fallacy. Okay, now this is what I want to address. Right. Okay, so. I'm gonna use it. What I'm gonna use here, right, is like supporting evidence because it's actually stated that like um, Momoshiki also fucking creates these dimensions as well, right? And also, this is like just because he uses the title doesn't mean the title is like incorrect, right? Just because like one of the titles or like two of the titles or something are are like hyperboles, right? Doesn't mean that this is like a hyperbole, right? Because you can still have like a, a title that is declarative, right? Because some like uh, some of these like what do you call it titles, right? They have adje adjectives in them. And therefore, they can be like kind of hyperbolic because like what happens is with adjectives, right? They used to describe a certain thing, and then then it becomes really like flowery language. But in this case, if you actually look at the ability, right, that Kagiya does, right, you were saying something about oh well, it's used to shift dimensions and stuff, right? There's also named because I haven't said that. Stuff, yeah. I said the name. It, it's not necessarily. I haven't. Like I haven't said that. Weapon, right. Okay, but let me let me just go on to this because like, you kind of were like implying, right? That, like, you no, know, you probably got that from one of my videos, that. but I haven't said that yet in this debate. No, I think you did. You kind of claimed that, like, oh, the creating dimension part isn't the no, same. No, you cut me off before I finished that. What do you mean I cut you off? I never I explained I the panel, because I was going to go read the whole panel, and it has okay, nothing to do with creating okay, dimensions and everything to, to do with teleportation. Well, 
okay, I might as well like address it because like it's it's also creating dimensions, right? Now, what it shows is that it has a multiple properties, right? The actual ability. And the reason we know this is because like um the actual name of the ability, right, is named after the god who literally creates dimensions, right? So this just shows, right, that it's like uh, linked to the ability to do that, right? Because like you don't just use the name for like no reason, right? If it doesn't have any relevance or anything. So like now linking that back into like, the other thing, right? Also, do you want? Me, I'll show you. I'll send you the scan for that. We'll see if I can. So this ability that uh, Kage uses, right? Do you know like how a lot of these things have like law based things, right? This is actually based off like the ability to create uh, dimensions and stuff, and like, this no, it's an ability about my making dimensions. And, no, sorry, not dimensions, like the universe and stuff. But like, it's to do no, with it's that not. Thing. Nothing on the panel besides the title explains that it's about creating dimensions. You still haven't explained how that works. If you read no, the I, panel I, itself, I, I, it literally I, I, only I, I, talks I, about I, teleportation. I, 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 it's not even like a title. It's like uh, this. Uh, this text. It is a title the, because look, the, the fierce, the fierce tornado that blows the entire universe away. Same font, same format, and it's the same for the Kurama one. That's it's not like, actually the title. It's just like a. It, it, well, it's a. No, okay, it's a big. It's, it's a big okay, explanation. Okay, okay. What's not, but if it was a true, right? if it so, was a true like, explanation, think, it would it would be backed up by the actual paragraphs in the statements. But instead, it's just a, an it irrelevant title. Yes, it does. Because no, if, the, if, the, if the actual panel itself contradicts the title, then it's a good indication that it's not, it's not an, an actual fact. It because, like, Instead, it's a name or it's a nominal fallacy. It's not, and, and, it's, um, and I can prove why that is, but I'm letting you try prove why it's no, not. Please, uh, elaborate. Why, why would it be a nominal fallacy or whatever? Okay, so let's read through the actual panel. It's a technique that Kaguya, who owned the Rinchan again, uses. In an instant, she can move the world she's together with other people to a different dimension. Therefore, it's teleportation done. It's got no, nothing to do with creation. Oh, okay. Did it say creation? Did it say create? Did it say create? Well, yeah, right there. But Tyler actually said it, she's creating dimensions. No, 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 no. In the in exact it's statement that I read, it did it say create? It look, yes, it does. Going, because then it would be a named fallacy. It's not because it's not the name of the ability. And right? then, the name okay, and then, and then this is the these are the same scenes, right? In the picture, you can see her. Uh, this is the same scene from the manga. And guess what? She's not creating. She's teleporting. So, no, the like, Rin Sharigan is proven in the manga and the panel to be a teleportation ability. It's got nothing to do with creation and everything to do with teleportation. No, they wouldn't just, they, we wouldn't just put that out there. It's a declarative statement. Well, they would, would, they just the put, would they just the put Tamari's Universal name, right? there? No, Why did they put Tamari's Universal? Why did they put Tamari's Universal then? This, this is a hyperbole because I explained why. It actually and so is, uh, thank you. You agree with me that it's a hyperbole. No, no I don't agree. The, just because one thing's a hyperbole doesn't mean You just mean said it was. You said it was a hyperbole. Slip, you said the title was a hyperbole. Guys, guys, that's a slippery slope fallacy, right? You're assuming A equals like Z, right? But it doesn't inherit. Just because one thing in one case. No, it's a like, nominal fallacy uh, because you're relying on a title to, to like, like Killua is Godspeed when well, he's not. Okay, look, we can just use the principle of consistency, right? Just because one yeah, thing and, is, the, and it's consistently okay, been shown to be a teleportation yeah, I jutsu. Okay, no, I can no, show I'm you not, multiple instances else. where guys, she's used the Ameno Minaka to no. teleport. So one thing, right? Just because one thing... This is that, three of them. Right? Now, going back to the actual main topic, right? I'm talking about her actual ability, right? It's actually quite declarative. It's not a high public... Like, if we use the principle... Of it is declarative right? in, the, in the actual yeah, panel. Wait, 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 Okay. If a manga had one inconsistency, right, you wouldn't claim the whole thing, oh, well, now it's, a hyper it's like, a, you know, every single thing should be declared as like a hyperbole and stuff. Now, the whole thing isn't valid, right? But that book would still be like, you know, valid. These titles would still be valid because they're declarative. Just because one thing states otherwise doesn't mean that's the case. That's a slippery slope fallacy. Now, it creating dimensions, right? Like I said, you didn't let me finish. It's linked to the ability of creating dimensions and stuff because like you've named after one of the gods in the, in the actual folklore, right? Of, uh, Can you prove that? Japanese folklore, huh? Yeah, I think. It's related to one of the gods of related to the universe. Right? So by the way, y'all both have y so each y'all both have one fallacy, right? Yeah, but if fallacies can be debunked by facts, right? If you have evidence to support otherwise, then it's yeah, like, then it, it doesn't that, matter. I'm saying his fallacy isn't like relevant because just because a name is said, is said to be something, right, doesn't mean like it's a fallacy. He, he said something. I mean, like, I'm, 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 I mean, happy. You could tell him why you don't think you committed the fallacy. Tell yeah, I look, I, like I, well, I haven't I haven't had time to dispute it because uh, you said that I had to listen to Bullet. Yeah. Okay. So well, I'm, I'm just well, I'm, wait, well, I'm, I'm waiting well, for that. Well, well, of course, someone calls out a foul, so you can defend yourself on that. I'm not saying that, yeah. but if we need to make an argument, you, you can just let him argue. But if you if you do think he wrongly called you out on a foul, so you can like say something. 
So are we going to let him finish first or talk about what yeah, a slippery slope is? You ask for a scan, you're like, oh, well, um, why does the thing... Well, 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 we'll let, we'll let the fallacy thing get out the way first. So just tell him why you don't think he committed okay. it. No, so can can we just reestablish why I committed a slippery slope first so I can then okay, uh, debunk it? Because I don't know what you've called out specifically as to why I committed a slippery slope. Okay. Oh, so you want me to explain why I said it was? A yeah, because I you, you said I committed a slippery slope, but you didn't really explain why. At least from I what I understood. So I said that like it's a slippery slope fallacy because like not all titles are inherently hyperboles because some of them are declarative. Like if I said you know in the title or something like a boy threw a ball, that, that could be de declarative. That doesn't necessarily have to be like hyperbole, right? And in most cases they aren't. Mm -hmm. A lot of the titles are just like quite declarative. There's only some that use that like, poetic language, like the Tamari. Well, that's if that's anything, that's in my understanding of a slippery slope, right? It's a logical fallacy that occurs yeah. when someone prov with, without providing adequate evidence argues something. And I'm arguing no. that exact thing about you. You didn't provide evidence to support the title. Therefore, it's a nominal fallacy. And and in double, you can say it's a slippery slope because you've provided no evidence to support okay, that me... this panel is a creation ability. Okay, I will, I will. Instead, finish, everything though. that I did share was suggesting that it's teleporting. And I showed to... evidence and it, that would clear me from the fallacy. That's that's That was my defense I'll post, against the fallacy. I'll post, I'll post the definition of slippery slope in Calix. Where did you post it? I post Calix. 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 I, I, I just, it's loading right now. Oh, okay. Uh, logically, in case you know where God, you search small. Yeah, okay. So he, he said by this small step, right? But so the title, right? Not being related to the thing, right? Leads to like it being like uh, not valid. And the reason for it not being valid, right? Is that like, you know, just because one, one example shows that like, it's, or like two, right? Examples show that it's hyperbole. It means that they all, they all are. When there's multiple like uh, statements, or, sorry, there's multiple like uh, pages in actual like data book where that actual like, uh, actual title page doesn't use hyperboles and it's quite de declarative. In fact, it's actually usually declarative. And then I use the principle of consistency to back that up. So do you see what he did there? He went from like, you know, assuming, well, look, if you have like a title, right? And it's shown to be like a hyperbole or whatever, right? But you what haven't provided any evidence for any of that. For what? What did I not provide? To prove that I, I committed a fallacy I did. in this way. Whereas I'm the opposite. I actually disproved it by showing that there's multiple panels that do have no, no, I'm your, problems. Your claim is based off that, right? It's based off that, uh, well, it's... Uh, you're assuming that this thing, right? Here, that we have, it's like, it means... Because it's like a hyperbole or something. One of them is like hyperbole. It means they're all hyperboles and stuff, right? Yeah, but I'm also saying that the best way to prove that it's not just a name title is through feats and statements okay, no, from the manga idea. or the yeah, okay, or the, the actual panel. No, so no, no. I actually said that before. I'm not saying that now. No, I'm saying you said it before. before. You, you used that as an argument, though. You said no, the whole, but like, then oh, if you're claiming that I only was talking about just yeah. the titles, that's wrong. I didn't say that. What I was saying okay, was saying that, that the, the way that you prove that it's not a name fallacy is based on some of the feats or some okay. of the statements from well, other places. Thing, you want to defend and, 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 and if it's consistent, as you said, then you're right. It would be a creating dimension Rinnegan thing, but it's never been shown okay, in I the will. anime or the manga oh, no. that the Rinnegan is the way that they created dimensions. It's not through the Rinnegan. If anything, it's been shown to create dimension. Uh, it's been shown to teleport, is what I was trying to debunk that with more ev evidence than what you've been showing. Well, okay, that's what I wanted to get onto. So I was saying it's a slippery slope fallacy because you wouldn't actually let me finish. You just used that, right? And then I was going to explain why that this thing wouldn't actually be um, a name fallacy or whatever, right? And the reason it yep. wouldn't be, right, is because I, this is exactly what I want to go onto, right? So the actual like ability, right, of a title, that's not actually like a name or anything, right? It's a declarative statement talking about the thing. It's like the, another part of the text almost, right? And the example you gave, this is all I was saying, right? The example you gave about the Tamari thing, if that's a case by case thing, that's something else completely. But that's more so a hyperbole because it uses like, you know, object, sorry, adjectives and stuff. And it uses a whole like uh, poetic language about the universe and stuff. But in this case, there's no actual po poetic, you know, uh, sorry, there's no actual poetic like, um, description or thing is literally just she creates dimensions as she pleases and then obviously then the divine power of the founder that part 
but that but we didn't establish there. that it was uh creating dimensions we know that it's a fan translation it actually says assemble oh, yeah, space so, yeah. and that's consistent that's consistent with the in panel it says oh, that it can move things between dimensions or spaces you were talking about the kanji did you end up i did you can you can read it where did you send that are you ignoring my scan yeah. uh, i'm not ignoring it like where is it in scans? It, it's it's one of the scans i can't like i can't explain which one there's like oh. heaps oh, okay wait. so if i go up right I oh, highlighted all the different kanji that's relevant, and I even gave dictionary translations of each of them, no, but and I, I gave the readings. The, I can't see the kanji like clearly though. You, you, I can. If I can read oh. it, you can read it. No, I mean, I mean like the actual. Is it like a picture of the kanji or something like? Yes. It's yes. like what you. It's it's what highlighted you with like. green underline, and it's correlated to the dictionary definitions oh. on the same panel. Let me see if I can load this up. There we go. Oh no, but do you know, you kind of like cut some of it out. Like, do you know the green part you've highlighted? There's like sub like mm -hmm. kanji to that, isn't there? Like, I haven't cut like anything out, no. About? no. You, can, you can go grab the original panel and, and cross-reference this if you don't no, believe it. That's what I'm saying, that you, you've actually blocked it out. So how do I know that's what it says? No, I haven't blocked it out. It's an underline. It's an underline. No, but it's not transparent. I can't see through that. You're like, do you want me to send what, it? To you what? Guys? What are you talking about? Are we talking about the same thing? About the, do you know the kanji thing, right? Okay, look, I'll screenshot and I'll send it. The debate over. Debate's not over. What? No, it literally just died. I think. Oh, okay. Okay, look. This is the, This is what I'm seeing, right? Is this a, is this a scan you're talking about? Is, is that the scan you're talking about? Yeah. Okay, look, do you see it kind of blocks out the kanji on the side there? Yeah, but you Quite can just like bring that. up the other panel if you wanted to see the full thing. It's, but oh, that's yeah. not relevant. Yeah. That part, the whole left section, yeah. is yeah. not relevant. All right, okay, well, that's the part you're it's only, about. It's, only, yeah, that's it's only the side on the right that, that's got anything to do with what we're talking about. What you, you specifically wanted to talk about no, the I words mean, creating okay. dimensions. You, I like only that, shared this panel to highlight those two words. That's why I did that. You understand that, right? No, that's the problem. I thought you were just highlighting that because that's what you were talking about. No, I'm like, highlighting it for you because you couldn't. You didn't even know where the kanji was or what they were. So I had to explain it to you no, I and did. I had to highlight oh, for you okay. and I had to provide a scan to prove your okay. point. Okay, look. You see, do you see what that kanji means there? Kukan. Like a Kukon, right? Now, we in space, that airspace, dimension. or okay, room. But this is a term also used to define Kakashi's dimensions, right? Which is a space. So a space would be in dimension anyway. If we're talking about like semantics anyway. It, 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 even still, so it doesn't even change the difference that it doesn't mean create. Okay, now, but do you accept that part? And then I'll bring up the other kanji, right? You, you get that part? Uh, no, you can try prove that. Wait, I can't. Wait, oh, you you want me to prove that? All right, okay. Sure, so you can prove that, that it means dimension. dimension. Okay, yeah. But I'm not. I'm not just gonna. I'm just not. I'm just. I'm not just gonna give away free points. Okay, yeah, I I will. Okay, now I need to get another scan for the Kakashi thing. I think I have that too. Should be here. I should. Uh, dead boy, did we end up establishing any fallacies or disproving them yet? Um, pretty sure, no. Fallacy that you... Okay. And then... Okay. Wait, sorry, you cut out. What'd you say? Um, we established the first fallacy that you called him, that you called on him earlier, right? Mm-hmm. And the slippery slope one, I'll just drop that both for both of y'all. And like, that, that one... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was just because we hadn't heard each other's arguments fully yet. Yeah. So. Yeah. So it should be nil nil, right? Fallacy wise. Okay. Wait. Uh, can I find the scan? Here we go. Okay. I found it. Okay. I'm gonna send it to scans. Calcs. Calcs. Because oh, we can't. I can't. I can't see scans. Yeah, I haven't posted it. I'm gonna. I said I'm gonna send it. Okay. Use it the same time. I might get click on. 
and stuff. And we know that they also refer to Kokashi space as a dimension within the viz and other translations. So like consistent, consistently Kukan in Naruto means dimension. And here's evidence for it, because it actually directly compares Kakashi's dimension and, and uh, Kage's, if you actually read that. So you see where it says space. This isn't a Viz translation, this is just a fan no, translation. No, 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 no. This is not, I'm not claiming it's a Viz translation. I'm saying that they use the same like uh, term like Kukan for both Kakashi. In, in Viz, in the official. Oh yeah, yeah, no, that's what I mean, yeah. They also use like uh, Kukan to explain like Kakashi's Where? Dimension. No, I'm saying when... In this in this scan right here, right, they talk about this Kikashi. is a fan translation. Yes, but the actual kanji talks about like Kakashi's like dimension. It, it Can you prove Kukon. that the kanji means? No, this is what I'm saying. No, 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 no. Because you Kukon. like if you if you actually look at my evidence I presented, I posted the word for dimension, which is jigen. It's no, not that's kukan. That's, that is, is that used for Kakashi? Here, because look, they use it. No, I'm Kikashi I'm saying that they haven't okay, used you it. You can actually read the kanji. It says it. I don't need the visa. No, this is this is a fan translation, so it doesn't necessarily mean it was translated correctly. No, look, you can look at the kanji. They use Kukon for both uh, Kakashi and they use it for uh, Kagi as well. I mean that Kakashi space where actually mean dimension, then Kagi is dimension. So they mean dimension by space, and plus space, I think it's a synonym. A synonym of space is dimension as well. Did you see it? Hmm? No. Well, because it's not from the original text. No, I mean, like I'm I mean, talking about like the manga. Like, yeah, where did they, where did they show that they translated it to mean uh, dimension you, you in the it? manga? See, so like, well, I'll highlight this for you then. Um, this word means dimension, right? Whereas okay. the word that you're suggesting means no, dimension. But in Naruto, you, they never you said use this one. They never use the term dimension, but they just change it to the fucking. Coupon. Well, you know what they actually do say in the manga. They Kukan they refer to they refer to Kukan as space. Do you want me to show you an, an example of when they said space instead of dimension? I'll what, give you an Naruto, example, example from the manga in Boruto, uh, in Naruto Shippuden. Correct. Um, that no, they actually they translated. Mean, hang on, uh, they so they translated Kukan, Kukan, Kukan to mean space. space, and this was actually in the orb That's panel. Like, okay. it's a no, but they, they didn't translate it to mean what you're claiming it to mean. See, so this is the English, right? And it said it's the time, it's the start of a time space, right? And what? It was something in the background or something, I think. I didn't, I didn't hear nothing. But anyways, it says that it's the time of a, of a new, uh, a start of a new time space. So the word that they used was space. They didn't say dimension. They, they said space. And so if you, if you have a look here, hang on, hang on. If you look, if you look here. Have a look, have a look, have a look, have a look. Guess what kanji they use there? It says Space. Kukan. Does it say Kukan talking about her dimension? <laughs> I just realized I sent the, the screenshot of a friend anyways. That was the wrong one. Oh, so right. you're saying that... So time space also means Kukan. That's what the fan says then. Surely that proves my point then, right? No, I'm saying that uh, Kukan means space. And it was translated to be space. Oh, so... What what what's the kanji here saying that she's gonna destroy her kukon? It says, uh, "Hang on, I gotta zoom in." Aratana kukan no hajimari da. So that means it's the start of a new space. The start of a new space. So yeah, mm -hmm. I just proved my point because it's related to the dimension, then, isn't it? Yeah, but it didn't say it, dimension, did it? It, where, it doesn't say do that um, kukan is dimension. Just dimension, right? Yeah, and she. That can perfectly, that can perfectly consistently make sense because I like, look, biz translate Kukon to space time. Means space. Time space. Time. So no, this is why I'm saying it proves my point actually that they mistranslated oh. the, the data books. They said it meant dimension. They said it was creating, but viz didn't translate it to mean dimension. That means there's an inconsistency. That means it was translated wrong. That means no, you're relying on a mistranslation no. as uh, at, from a title to prove that. This panel no, is okay, talking about okay, creating a dimension when, when they clearly, they clearly mistranslated it, it, and the panel itself is talking about teleportation, and okay, it's been wait, proven by the panels okay, that I showed. Proven here, right? Is it could be used for dimension or time space, right? No, when, I proved that it meant that it was space. You're trying to say that was that's a straw man. What's that's a straw man, man argument. You you told no, me that I was trying to prove that it's a, a dimension. I did not say that.
No, I didn't. We, no, I I'm said, trying to prove yeah, that that, that, that word was translated by viz that. to mean space. Nothing else. No, you did. You just said that my <laughs> space and, and dimension is, no, is interchangeable, and that's what I was saying. That's not, okay. not what I okay. said. You so straw man argument me. No, no, I didn't. I said viz translated as viz translated as time and space, right? So you're saying it can also mean mm. time and space and, and, um, and dimension. Is that what you're claiming? I was asking you. No, I did not say that. No, not about the dimension part. I just said okay. that Kukan no, means but, space, and that's what it was translated by Viz. Nothing more. No, you need to prove that it, it refers to space. You didn't prove that, remember? Your whole life, I did. I, okay, what do you mean I, I didn't? Said, I literally showed you the kanji. I showed no, you the no, dictionary no, definition. No, no, it says no, space, room, airspace. I showed you the kanji, and I showed you the English translation for both Viz and okay, me. Look, no, no, that's... Okay, look, dude. I'm going to go over this, starting from my scan, right? And then I'm going to explain what's actually happened. So in my scan, what happened is they compare like, uh, sorry, they compare Kakashi Kukon and then they also have like uh, Kage's Kukon. I mean, they use the same terminology, right? So where did and they say that, that like, Kuk Kukon meant dimension is what I asked. What? Kukon where did it say dimension. Kukon, Kukon means Kukon dimension? To... Where did, when did they translate that? Besides your fan translations, besides your fan translations, where in the manga did they officially translate it? So we know that it's not a bad translation. We know that it's actually proper. Where does it say it well, in, the use, in the manga? They use Kakashi. Uh, Kaka they use Kakashi's dimension. No, I'm did saying, they say space, space okay, or did they say dimension? They're saying Kakashi's Kukon, right? And we know that always gets translated to dimension, right? So you claiming okay, even if you claim it's a space, the space is still like a synonym of a uh, dimension, if anything. So it, just, it, just, it still like proves my point regardless. It doesn't prove that it was creation, at all. Okay, all, we'll all this now, panel is, is pointing okay, to is that it's a teleportation ability, that it's, it's a space, that you can transport people from one space to another. Okay, now and that's all it says on. in the panel. No, we're not moving okay. on. I was, I was clarifying th how that, that definition okay. from now the we, title yeah, we, 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 actually like, does correlate with the panel, but it doesn't correlate with the panel when we use yeah, your yeah, definition. You when, you say, when you say create you dimension... It, it 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 doesn't it, it doesn't fit with the context of the rest of the panel. But when you okay. when you talk about it from uh, sh assembling or shifting things from one dimension to another, that makes sense with the panel because it's talking no. about teleportation. It's a okay. technique uh, that Kaguya, who owns the Ring Shining Gun, uses in an instant. She can move things from one world to another. Okay. So therefore, it's talking about teleportation. That's what was my whole point. Okay, here's it. I'm gonna I'm gonna rebut this right. So I'm saying it is actually related. It's not related to the thing, right? It's a separate thing. So they're talking about like two different abilities. It not only creates dimension, but it allows you to shift, right? And we know this, right? Because like the actual thing is named after, right? Like I think uh, we talked, I, I mentioned this briefly before. It talks about the God <sighs> who like, you know, created the actual like universe. So where it, he originated from him, right? He was the originator, of, the creator of it, right? And now, this isn't like a fucking name fallacy or anything, because it's not a name. It's like a declarative statement on the side. Now, you, if you want to talk about the kanji... So, so where is this declarative statement? statement? It's on the side about, the panel? Her the panel. about her creating the dimensions. But do you want to talk about the kanji of that now? Do you want to send the panel first? Hmm? Yeah, I understand the panel, but I'm saying the two separate things. I'm saying that like you can, it can still be both, right? It doesn't so are you dropping the all the points and then basically agreeing with what I said? When did I drop all the because... Points? Because you're, you're bringing up a new topic about this god who supposedly supports your statement, but you haven't provided any panels or oh, anything oh, to support so you, that do you, like a statement. Scan, do you want to scan for that? To prove that, yes. To prove that, yes. Okay, cool. I'll send it. It's about time now. I think you, you can search it yourself if you, if you don't believe me. You might have to zoom in a bit. Can you prove that it's actually got to do with real Buddhism? Like that the author has accepted and acknowledged that it's based off this god? No, but I'm saying, right, like if you name something, like, yeah, I think it's like a, you actually use Yeah, but the, like, but do you, do you know, but does it state that, in the manga or, or in any statements yeah, from the author quite, himself <laughs> stating that it's one for one, the exact same thing? No, it's, it's actually quite a common thing because like in Naruto and stuff, right? They use this, the, the same law from like this. Sure, this, sure. They actually use it. But they, like, but they take that, inspiration like, from Amino, it. Amino, Taking Amino, inspiration Amino, Amino and Amino one for one are two different things. What? What was that? Taking what? inspiration from a source and then using that as a basis okay. for a character doesn't make yes. it exactly the same as the character. Okay, for example, exactly Jediah was based on a Jediah who's also a real yeah. character in a real story, okay, but I'm he's not the same Jediah. I'm not saying it's exactly the same. Otherwise, so it's it not the same. 
no, no, listen to my claim, right? I'm saying it's not exactly the same because otherwise it'll be mm-hmm. universal or whatever, right? But the claim is, if it, if it is like based off it, right? Where the claim is actually go, uh, going is that it's actually used for like creation because it's based off this kind of like idea. So it would actually support it. It's like supporting evidence, right? I mean, it also goes hand in hand with the actual do, creation. Do you have like a, we'll like a panel to support that they really did base it off this and specifically speaking, the creation aspect or is it just the name that they borrowed? See, that's what I'm saying. The difference is, is that they've borrowed Jediah, for example, but they never actually used the same storyline from the real Jediah well, story. Well, they, saying, they just borrowed his name yeah, well, saying, and they've yeah, done that a lot in that at all. They've stolen names from different characters. Sakura, for example, she's, she literally means cherry blossom. Does that mean she is a cherry blossom? Well, no, but I'm saying it's based off of because like her hair actually is pink. So I'm not saying it's exactly the same because I never claimed it was, right? But I'm saying- Yeah, but for example- but even if you for example, stuff, that's the name of a person, right? Now, when you're talking about like abilities and stuff, like- Well, this right is now, the name Kishimoto of a, an to, ability. This is the name title. He's, he's trying to be declarative, right? He's not trying to give it like a random name or anything. You don't just randomly name anything when you come to abilities, right? Because the whole point of like abilities, right? Is, like, mm, to that's argument. A, a person's goal isn't to fulfill a, a certain function, right? So now he does this, right? He puts in like this law, especially with like abilities like the Susano and like the Izanami. And the Amaterasu and stuff like is based off this kind of law, and it has like similar properties and stuff. Like for, similar, um, but not the same. Yeah. Look, they don't need to be exactly. The same. Let, let them finish. Let them finish. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let me finish. So for here, the actual basis is isn't that like oh she's he's actually the originator and creator of the universe and stuff, right? It's the basis of it. The basis of creating something. The first kami, the source of the universe, the the source of something. Meaning that the actual basis of this, right? Is that she's creating things, right? And it actually goes hand in hand with the actual like translation there. Now I think what you want to do is move on to the kanji. No, I don't. I still actually want to tackle the exact same point. Okay. Um, for example, Sakura means cherry blossom, doesn't make her a tree. Jiraiya is got to do with a completely different story. It doesn't mean that. Uh there's multiple examples of the titles. Hold okay, up, look, I can bring I, it up. I'm not talking about the, the names of people, right? And even then they actually take like some inspiration and stuff. This is like an ability, right, in the data book, right? And, you know, they, they've named it like this certain thing to show that it has like, you know, a similar like property or something, right? Because you, when you think, when you give like, uh, when you talk about abilities and stuff, right, especially Kishimo, it's consistent. And this one proving, right? When Kishimo like brings up like other abilities, right, where he uses law, right? It usually has like the same like property as that, right? I, I, I explained with the whole Susano thing, the whole Amaterasu uh, part, right? The whole like uh, Izanami stuff, right? When you have like abilities based off law, usually they have similar properties. So like it's just a natural entailment, right? In this case, of so course well, but you, you say that, but in proof of what you're saying, there is none. What do you mean? No, not from 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 what you've established, you're just saying no, that Amaterasu is based off what, and then and you're saying that this is based off something else, but we haven't actually you haven't given any examples of that. You haven't proven that to Wait, be what so. Do you, what, what do you mean by examples and stuff? I gave you. You said that Amaterasu is based off something. Like oh, what? You, you and then it's the same with that. each everything. Izanagi and Izanami. You know, Izanagi is actually a god, and it can be completely it did, like that. That was the the, no, the two the different. I'm not saying it's exactly the same. So look, I'll, I'll give you an example of like. What yeah, but I, I that's what I'm also saying. I'm also saying it's not the same. Exactly the same. I'm okay, saying that it's exactly it's it's same. it's yeah. But you have to prove in the work of fiction that he meant it to be the same. No, or an, or a statement outside of the fiction. Thing, I don't need to prove it's that, the same. I'm just I'm saying it's based off this. I mean, it takes our properties of this. So this like, thing is, right, it actually relates to the actual translation. So I'm using this as supporting evidence, right? And it would make more sense. It would make my argument more consistent, more, co- more coherent, right? No. Yes. Okay, wait, what's wrong about that? Well, for example, Sakura is based on his wife. That's a statement from the author stating that Sakura has similar characteristics to his wife. No, but what I'm saying is you haven't proven from statements from the author that that's true. Wait, what? No, but what statements from the author or in the the work of fiction state that they meant it like this? Yeah, that's it. That's, okay, look, that's what I've already explained, right? Like, if you take Masusuno, if you take the Armatrasu and stuff, like, these things, right, and the law, right, this is the kind of law that, like, Ishimo is inspired by, right? And it has the sim- it has the fucking same name or the similar name. With the, I explained the whole, like, Amino Minikashi thing, right? Yeah, but it's not Amino Minikashi, it's Amino Minaka. Min- There's a difference. 
can you prove well, that they're that's the same? Exactly what I'm saying. So the Amina Min part, right, is basing it off that kind of law. Mm -hmm. That's the part. That I don't. I don't get what you're saying. Right? It doesn't need to be exactly. I've established this like ten times. The thing is, it actually goes hand in hand with it. It doesn't need to be like exactly the same. It's like it's supporting it. It's not my main premise. Yeah, but the the reason why your whole premise makes no sense, right, I is because when you I, I know that you got this from the Naruto fandom, right? I, I didn't and know I and but I didn't. no, well, okay, well, I'll show you that you, you did. Um, like yeah, yeah, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm gonna give you the full panel context, okay? It says that it's a heavenly ancestral god of the originating heart of the universe, a Japanese yeah, deity. Amano Minaka is not a deity. It's a, an ability. It doesn't need to be that already that debunks it, what you said. Based. Everything. It's got nothing to do with the original text or the original uh, definition of what Amino Amino. Hang no, on. Amino Mina. You said right. It Kanushi like has thing, nothing right? to do with a, like um. Otherwise, they wouldn't like have like these links with it. Like even if you look at the inspiration like, and one for one translation are two separate. Okay. No. Well, Bullet was making a point. Like, 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 pull it finish. Yeah. So, like, in the scan you've actually sent, right? It actually proves that the law is like the same because, like, even the the Koto um part, right? Like, you have at the end that's related to like C Suite's ability. And like, the thing is, a lot of it, Hishimoto did take inspiration from it because like, you actually see these abilities and stuff and the names of them. Now, this so thing what is ability that, like, uses the same like, terminology here with the uh, amino part, right? And the thing is, right, it is an originator of the universe, right? It's creating something, like, it's the creator and originator of the universe, and it's related to this ability. So all I'm saying is, if you go back to the scan, right, it can have two different properties. It doesn't inherently have to be, like, the same thing. So show me in the anime yeah. so where, goes, where actually this actual, actual ability actual was proven to create a dimension. Show me in the manga, show me in the anime where this ability was not um in fact a teleportation ability show me where it was proven to be a creation ability because i've already established from it doesn't the manga be, it that it be, is would, indeed only a teleportation ability and is and, and that's all it's been proven to be it's never been proven she's never gone no. i'm in ominaka there's a dimension can you show me in the in it does it does it does it does it does matter because otherwise, it's just inspiration and got nothing to do with the actual ability itself. Remember we established in the last debate? It's like, just a name. There's plenty of things that with names look, that they don't it, actually necessarily... It, it is. It, it is a name title. And I've proven so with what I've established. Oh, so now we're talking about the actual title? No, are we talking about the actual text thing? from? A, it's from all interrelated. Title? I said that the reason why it's a nominal fallacy is because you're relying on the name of a title to prove that this ability has a different function. But it, it, it's completely no, it, different it to what you're been, saying. Just because it's the name is Amino Minakushi mean, doesn't necessarily mean it's creation. What? Papa? Sorry, I didn't hear what you said at the end. Just because it's the Amino Minaka and in name doesn't mean it's an actual what? creation what? ability. The, the ability is explained right? in the panel and it's, it's okay. described as a teleportation so ability, so not a creation ability. Not okay, I'll let you finish. But also, look, you have the actual, like, that book statement talking about its creation stuff. So I'm saying it's supporting it. It's showing that it is the case and that it can be the case. Mm -hmm, that it doesn't mm -hmm, inherently, have to, inherently have to be the same thing as what's shown on the side. Because it can mm -hmm. have multiple properties. One, But then it's contradicted by the manga, which mm -hmm. I shared. Then it's contradicted by the manga. It is. Not by the panels that, it it is because, because like, I showed the manga panels where they used that ability, but it, it, it wasn't to do with creation. It was just teleporting one person from one dimension to another. No, because we can't see. How would you physically show somebody like creating the dimension, right? You she can, because see the, see the panel? The can, you, can you see the panel itself? For, for the Amino Minaka panel? We established for it's actually got the them case, teleporting. Right? Something else has to be shown rather. Now, I'm not disagreeing that it's used for switching. I have shown say It rather. can also be used for this thing, this certain thing, and it's stated. It's something can just be stated. It doesn't inherently... Have Statements to don't mean anything without look, supporting evidence. Well, unless it's contradicted, right? Where, it is contradicted. Not, like, look, you can make a statement. Somebody could be, like I said before, somebody could be stay star level, yet not show it. Yeah, that would be a canon feat. It's still valid. Not if it's just the name of an ability. Okay. Now, the thing is, right, you have all of this stuff right here, yeah? And then, then it goes in, hand in hand, right, with that expanding it doesn't. And, stuff and destroying that, right, and creating dimensions that way and destroying them, or like the time space. No, in, in fact, you contradicted yourself with the exact same thing. It says that the orb is the start of a new time no. space, right? It's not okay, saying that they're, they're in shutting in. If anything, the panels that I've shared have proven that the orb, not Kaguya, not the shutting gun, 
is the yeah. thing responsible for creating space, not right? Inherently, because like, look, look. No, she, not not inherently. Like, it literally states that in the panel. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna address that, right? Okay. Now it says a st uh, start of a new time space, yeah. And the reason it's stating it because it's gonna destroy whatever's there before, right? It doesn't say you inherently have to make something completely new, but the thing is, right? It's, it says time space, so it doesn't have to necessarily have to have one property. It doesn't need to be restarting the whatever the dimension, right? It's actually destroying the time space of it, which is a completely different property, right? So erasing something's time space is just greater than destroying a destroying like a space or like a, sorry, destroying a space what? or creating a what? space because like a time because time space, right, is a completely different thing to the actual dimension, right? But like, I'll, I'll give you an example. If you destroy the time space of like a universe, right, that we considered low multiversal. But if you destroy that said universe, it would just be universal. It's a different property. Destroying something's time space. So how's that related to anything? Are you moving on from that point? Is that what you're suggesting? No, I, I was just rebuttaling that. So I was saying that. Actually no, was... so how is that a rebuttal though? Rebuttal to what? To the point that the Amino Minaka yeah, what about creates that? dimensions. No, but I already addressed that. I said that, like, the actual, it says that it's creating dimension stuff. It's also based off a of law and stuff. So, because it doesn't say that in the, in the manga, though. The only, the, like, only, the only thing it's, that's it shown. Something could just be stated. It doesn't need to be shown. Especially in this case, because it would be difficult. Yeah, but it's not statement. It's, a, it's, a, it's just a title. Okay, why would you just create a like, dimension for no reason? You have to have that. Well, like, like, here's an example that I gave before. I already established this. Tamari can blow away the universe. Do we ever see that by feats in the anime? Okay, no. Now this is what I want to address. Um, this is why I was saying it was like a separate. So and it's the it. same with the Kurama can. Wait, wait, let wait, let Bella address the point. Okay, go ahead. Just because, just because one or two statements, right, shows that like you know it's a hyperbole or something. But that's a case by case thing. You don't assume that every single like title, right? And that's I why I'm assume breaking that every it single, down. Like, that, that section of it would be a hyperbole or something, right? Or poetic and stuff because it's it, it's clearly like declarative apart from our last part about the divine user right it is it's declarative it's like if somebody says a boy like kicks a ball or something right it's not using like poetic language or anything the beginning uh, part of it anyways and now where i'm going with this right is like uh, if you use a principle of consistency right you wouldn't say oh well there's one or two like contradictions like, in the data book right so hence so you wouldn't say one or two things uh shows that like oh look it's not like consistent or it's hyperbole or whatever you wouldn't assume that they all are and that's what I was trying to say with the whole like slippery soap fallacy. And I'm saying it can be a different thing. It doesn't need to be related to like the whole like main text there. That can still be like it can still have two properties. Nothing states that it can't have two properties. So it's not a contradiction. Happy? Have you established your point? Your point? Yeah. Yeah, so basically. From the the manga, though, there are direct contradictions, and I've okay. proven that there are examples where there there was something that supposedly started a new space, but it wasn't okay. Kage and it wasn't that in Shanigan. Whereas you still haven't shown that 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 in Shanigan has been proven to create dimensions, and that was that was my whole step. And I'm saying the expanding truth seeking orb has a different property; it's affecting the time space. But it's also that stated that it's actually the orb that creates it. Because, okay, I'll, I'll rebuttal but this in a different way then. Space. And I'm, I'm going to do a different point altogether, okay? Um, but but it, will, it will be relevant. It took a millennium for Kaguya to prepare enough chakra, enough uh, the infinite well, Tsukiyomi, well, the, the, from, from the time that she ate the first chakra fruit okay. all the way up to actually using this orb. To just, to, to, just to use the orb. No, it's the same point. She, it took her all this time, like thousands of years of prep time to be able to achieve this orb, which is supposedly going to create a new time space, right? She went through yeah, all this effort time. in order to in order to get an infinite Tsukuyomi, the moon. Uh, and even in this panel itself, it states that you need sacrifices to use the orb. So you need okay, all these requisites, right? You need sacrifices. You need, sh you need to sacrifice the shinobi. You need the Tsukuyomi. You need a moon. You need thousands of years of prep time to make sure that you've got like perfect timing and everything. Uh, or a thousand years, millennium. Anyways, and, and you're saying that despite that's the whole story, 
that it makes sense for her to just make dimensions okay, from so nothing else. without any chakra help or without anything that just contradicts that. everything that she had to, to uh, do in order to achieve that other ability which is okay, the... like now if you take the expanding proof seeking orb right it's by it's the thing she uses to regain her past chakra i can actually prove it, it stated in my virtual data book right what she does is she was actually the originator of chakra i think this is even established in the manga so there's actually no need to even get the data book right but all of this chakra like originally belonged to her so she had to contain all of that chakra and we've seen what happens right so if no, it, it was stated time, that she was the first to obtain it right? whole dimension and destroys time space right that she would have to contain this kind of chakra and we know this because madra when he tries to initially even take like a portion of kagi's like chakra he's about to explode it's like stated by like sasuke he can't contain it he's about to explode so it has to scale to durability and when you're producing some sort of ke right it would have to scale to your durability right and that's why it's Wait, that, like, did you that say that Madara? Uh, hang on, uh, you, you, you said something that I wanted to clarify. Yeah, yeah. Did you say that Madara was able to use the 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 what ability? No, I said Madara was going to explode through t just taking like yeah, that stuff. like that. I assume that meant yeah. the orb. So but you have to what, no, you have to contain all of this chakra. I'm not. I'm, I'm just making the premise. Right. right that okay, that's what you meant. You can okay. produce a certain amount of chakra. You need to be able to contain that amount of chakra. Yes. Okay. I get what you're saying now. And it was all her chakra originally. She contained this within her for years. Because she's the one who gave the world chakra. Do you want scans for that? Yep. Okay, so like all of the chakra was originally her. She didn't give when she had eaten the chakra. Food. And then like what happened is that like Hagoroma she... and Hama took like a portion and stuff. And then they shared it amongst like... Hagoroma was the one who shared chakra through Ninshu. Yeah. So wait, I'll get the scans. I should have it. So in... My rebuttal of that. Kaguya was the first to receive chakra. That doesn't mean that the chakra was hers to start with. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, okay, I'm going to rebuttal that as well, but just let me quickly get the scans first. I'll just make it a little bit easier. Wouldn't it? Okay, here we go. I'll get the scans. Let me just say them and then. And then once I've saved them, then I'm gonna send them to the group chat. Well, sorry, I mean the, the chat, whoever the scans. Um, okay, I'm gonna send it now. I'm gonna let me just one. They're just coming through right now. Just a few of them. There's about three. These go together, by the way. Yep. And so in the first one, it says we stole chakra from the divine tree. There you go. It wasn't hers. It was the divine trees. No, but the divine tree chakra, she made it her chakra. She ate the chakra. But do you know where the divine tree came from? It doesn't matter because... If you, you know, no, it does, she, because that means that the source of her energy is not from her, it's from the tree. Okay, look, take Moro from, like, Dragon Ball, right? He takes, like, yeah, energy from other sources. Like, characters do this all the time, but, right, if they get, like, another form, right, then they can't... That's a form. You just use their pinnacle form, right? That's the form I'm using, the strongest version of it. It depends like, on like, how look, they obtain their power. She permanently, she permanently power. made it her power, and I can prove she permanently made it her power, right? She ate the fruit, right? And then for years, right, she lived, right? She had kids and stuff and was able to contain all of his chakra. So she made it hers. It's not like it was temporary and she was going to lose it. So there we go. Okay, so you didn't rebuttal the point that I just brought up, which is that it actually came from the, the tree. Okay, it and it says, it says that in the panel she that you the shared, the first, the first... It does matter she because... She drained all of the chakra from the world, I ate it and made it hers. Can I establish like she, my she, point? She or... refers to all chakra as hers because it was nature energy, like uh, essentially. It was nature energy like originally and she converted it into like chakra. No, she didn't convert it. The tree did. Yeah, no. That's what I'm saying. Look, she planted the, the tree, absorbed it, right? And it made a fruit. She ate the fruit and made that chakra hers. So without the tree, she couldn't have eaten the fruit. Yeah, sure. Because she, she, would have, she would have had nothing to absorb. Okay, but that's like saying... Oh, Therefore, no, chakra wasn't, wasn't blah, blah, given blah, blah, to her at all. Wasn't the incarnation of no, it's it not like that. saying that at all. It's completely it different. It, the, no, you, no, no, no your, your point was, is that she's the one that gave chakra to everyone however in the exact panel you sent yeah, me which is the one above no don't cut me off is that it says that chakra was given to, um through the tree no but the chakra wasn't given through a tree but what happened was right because like, but that's what it says in the panel Wait, what does it say on the panel no, what she did was right but actual tree made a chakra fruit 
right? So in the like panel a- that you, you shared me, 156, yeah. you're ignoring everything I just said. Chakra first said? originated with this divine tree, okay? No, but she Chakra is- came from the tree, she not from Kaguya. You're okay. proving my point. No, I'm saying she claims that the, the chakra is hers. She doesn't need to have like originated it. For it example, doesn't matter can, if people claim have, okay, it's theirs. Look, you can have raw materials, right? Process it, right? And that process thing, right? Like a pencil or something. You could start, it could still be your pencil. You don't need to have made it. Like, like you don't need to have physically made it yourself. If that makes sense. But she made it hers because she permanently kept all of his power. That's where the, the claim is coming from, from. And that's what I'm saying is her power. Right? Like I said, you could process like uh, raw material and make something and that can still become yours, like a sword, and that would be a part of your arsenal, right? But it doesn't mean like the sword that you inherently forged or made like out of nothingness. Wait, so you're trying to say that because she got she got it from a different source and then made it her own. Is that what you is yeah. that what the it, claim it is? Where she got it, from, it becomes her power because she like like I said, for years it, she was able to contain this. It power. does like, because the power the power is not infinite. It does not last. And that's been I'm proven multiple infinite. times. No, in, in that, mean, if, if it's not it, no, it's, can, you, can you not come here? Okay. Is that okay, it's, okay. it is temporary because without okay. actually having trees and then eating the fruit of the trees, they don't stay permanent. They don't keep that energy. For oh, example, wait, she literally kept all of that energy until also, she uses she it. And then she can right? never, then she has nothing left because in episode 460, you literally see her arrive after supposedly having power and then she has none she's scared of bows no, she and arrows lost all of that chakra. do you know why she lost all of that chakra oh so it isn't it is temporary then no because hagoromo physically took her from so for example you can have a character who is how can how can hagoromo right? take the chakra when from her if she never like, had it to start with bleach, right when you like remove people's like arms and stuff right they become like massively weak and stuff so like you could steal somebody you can do things you can take their power and stuff yeah you can you can keep talking power. but you it mean it's, to, it's not like she can't control this power she loses his power power because like, can you prove that like, hagoromo took her chakra before arriving to earth what do you mean or, or, or to the ninja after world he beat her, after he beat her he sealed her no no i'm talking about the, the very episode I, I, okay my statement which you completely ignored episode 460 right statement? episode 460 she lands for the first time on a chakraless human world. Are you talking about one pillar? Right? First arrives that pillar, right? It's actually mixed canon. So the, oh. it's actually based off it's it is canon. And the the most important okay. principles that are canon is the fact that she obtained chakra from the tree, but prior to doing that, she was powerless. Okay, it doesn't matter. Like let's say like it does matter people, because it's the fact that because before that we also know that she fought other people and that she couldn't have done that with the abilities that she had in the filler. In the in the filler, she had none. It wasn't until she ate the fruit that she gained power. This 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 okay. proves that okay. she not is actually is uh, is a filler, temporary. Her her, her about- she she needs to, no. But even in the the panels I shared before about them being a parasite, it proves that they need to consistently be look, devouring planets look, to maintain their power. And you can steal somebody's power to have it, like get another form or something, right? But it, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be permanent. You'd have to prove that it's permanent, but I'm showing you. I'm showing you multiple different examples of them losing it. Momoshiki, when he was fighting, was was getting was losing and losing until he ate Kinshiki, and we already established this before, and that's how he got enough power to use his powers again. The thing is, look, he fused to have another form. That was his AP. He still look when I claim something, but like becomes your AP, right? It just means you can use it within like your other like statistics. Maybe your striking potency becomes relative. Maybe like your actual like other stats, like your durability become relative, things like that. So that's what I mean by like it becoming relative. Because she needs to be able to display this kind of power, right? In a natural lab. Any time, right? Why. And she needs to be able to display it any time, right? What? What do you mean at any time? She needs to be able to display that that level of power at any given time no, she I wants to, to be able to scale, scale from it. I mean, okay. I just need to scale, uh, prove that it scales to her AP. And that's what I was doing with the whole durability. If you can't contain it... But it doesn't scale to it if she can't use it every time she wants to use it. Like I said... I'll prove why she can, right? And this is like talking about like, you know, Kage once she's like regained all of her chakra and stuff, and stuff, right? She needs to be able to physically contain all this chakra. And if it can, it can, it relates to her durability. And also you can take Newton's third law, right? If you produce a certain amount of KE KE or kinetic energy, right? There's always going to be like a counterforce. That's an appeal to reality, isn't it? Okay, and usually that's the reason they scale to Europe. We don't know that they actually apply Newton's law. law. One punch is surpassing her actual create, her creation potency, right? And if it, if this happens, right, then they scale to not only her durability, but her like actual striking potency and stuff, right? 
And also, if if characters can harm a durability, right, then they have the, they have similar AP, right? And then she can swap hands with them, etc. And that's how it kind of just links back in and scales. And I'm not, I'm not claiming that they're superior to the, uh, expanding triple signal orb, only that they would be relative to this kind of chakra. And most of the time, like, uh, sorry, Kagi is actually running out of chakra, and she needs to refuel herself. So she, it is temporary, and she is running out, and therefore it's not permanent. Not permanent. No. That's not what I'm saying. Just because some you know, you, you, you literally just said that. You said that it's it, it's she's running out of chakra. It, no, but I didn't say depleting all of your chakra or anything. Because you can all you can sometimes lose a little bit of chakra, but that doesn't affect like your stats entirely, right? But but you said that she ran out of chakra. But anything, any no, I didn't say she'd run out of chakra. I said that she's running low, she's running uh, she's running her chakra lower, right? And this is kind of proven because she, she's what? kind of getting like slower or something. But that happens to Naruto characters all the time. But that doesn't mean it inherently like puts your stats down or anything. I'm just saying, all yeah, I'm but, proving, right? But, but the way that other characters level, regenerate their chakra and your body is naturally. Then your durability scales to that. Like, like Naruto naturally regenerates his chakra, and so does all these other characters. But we've never seen when Asutsuki, they always seem to be um, eating chakra well, fruit no, and this, draining planets. And it's stated, not just to do that, it actually states that they, um, their sole purpose is to drain uh, planets of their, their also, life. Sometimes, sometimes Energy. they don't even give it to them. A lot of the times they have to give this like um, chakra to the clan, right? Because it's like Urashiki in like the anime was like, oh, well, uh, Kaguya Hanan delivered the chakra to the clan, right? And what I'm saying, they use this, usually eat the fruit to update their genetic, the actual genetic body and like the actual physical body, right? To, to get higher dojutsu and stuff in higher forms. And Can stuff. you prove that's the sole reason that they... No, I'm not. I'm saying there's, I'll give you two reasons. I'm just saying there's multiple reasons. Well, I think that there's other reasons. It's not just to no, update their their DNA. Some of the other reasons, like in this panel that I've already shared before, it states that they are alien parasites. They per their sole purpose is to devour planets. Why would their sole purpose be to you just, wait. So the you to devour the reasons, life of a planet? The they. No, no, I'm no. just saying there's multiple reasons. It doesn't need necessarily. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, is that they have but one goal to devour the life of a planet. Why would they say that unless if it meant something to yes. them? Okay, so they need to drain the chakra of, of the world. But we, like I said, there's multiple uses. For yeah, but there would be no they, point in doing like so biology. just to they change your DNA. To the clan. They could use it to like achieve higher dojutsu, etc. So it depends. I'm saying it doesn't inherently mean they need it for like some certain reason. Like what you just said. And then one sole reason. It also talks about the the fact that the the tree itself drains the entire life of the planet. The divine tree in the ground, uh, yeah. as it says here, sucks the chakra from all life. So, as we know, Kaguya actually had an interest in a person and got pregnant, and that's how she okay. had Hagoromo and Hamura. It's relevant because she didn't necessarily want to eat the fruit that time. She was happy to stay at her power level, which okay, was yeah, basically she had no power at that time. It wasn't okay. until people started being a little bit sketchy and then tried to kill her that she decided out of panic to go eat a fruit and then okay. gain regain okay. the, 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 the chakra that she needed to be able to use abilities. And, and we see this with Momoshiki. He's fighting. He's not doing so well. So then he takes another fruit in order to maintain the chakra that's oh, necessary. No, it's not a tangent. It's all related because um, okay, so I was saying that as well. No, in order to that. in order to use the orb, they had to sacrifice all the shinobi on the planet, uh, as it states in the orb panel, no, to use the orb power. ability. Why would she need to do that if she could do that from permanent chakra pools that you stated to be permanent? No, I'm saying she, no, one Hagoromo, when she fought Hagoromo, Hagoromo had to take it to split it and make the bijou, remember? But it was still her power, it still scaled to her AP and stuff beforehand. And I proved that with the whole durability thing and harm people who can harm her and then her like clashing with them. So it would all have to be relative. It doesn't scale to the orb though at all. Why would it not scale to the orb? Because she needs to because contain, the remember, the orb is actually containing all of her chakra and she at one point had to contain all of her chakra. I mean that like her durability would have to scale because I proved with Madra. And stuff. It, where does it say that the orb contains chakra, all of her chakra, chakra though? And also, I, I explained right. If you, using Newton's third law, right? If you can like contain this energy and project it right in any way, shape, or form, right? Then there would be have to be like a counterforce and stuff, and your durability would have to relate regardless. And I even proved it with like the 
I can even, sorry, I can even prove it with the whole, like, uh, remember with the chakra hands and stuff, and that being one of her most uh, strongest attacks. And if that has the potential to be her strongest attack, meaning that she can use it, right? It would have to scale up to her, like, striking potency and stuff. Yeah, but the the striking air attack has not been proven to be universal or anything like that. It hasn't been proven to be star level or any or stated or proven by feats. Whereas this orb has been proven to look, we don't even said, know we, the extent of it because it was never successfully used. Statements. It's not con uh, contradicted, right? You can go off statements. Yeah, but like, like with the tiering system, it said that if if it never thing. Wait, are you using that well, versus then, which so, like oh, for yeah, for ex exactly. for being able to scale whether it scales or not if if it if it's a feat that uh has not been proven the extent of the damage you then have to go either unknown or to scale it to her best feats well, so that's why the orb can... does not no it does that's what i shared earlier no, so right i shared the, I shared the exact thing, statement right? if that if, if it's not known strongest... how much Sorry, damage it would inflict attack, dude you keep then cutting me off i haven't finished the point it would have to at least scale to the whole like, uh, you know, stuff. And like I said, that's consistent. Anyways, I haven't finished my point. The durability has to relate to it regardless. So you're not tackling that point of that point. You haven't it. tackled my point either. I'm What's saying that if you if you if you don't know the extent of the damage or the creation of the orb, it has to then be placed as unknown you know or scale to a reasonable um, scale over feats. That's what it's stated, right? And so the, the reasonable scale is what other feats she's managed to achieve. And the best feat that she's achieved is being relative to Hagoromo and Hamura because they were able to eventually create a moon which would scale her. And that's, 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 that's the extent that of her or proven damage. Because when she went to use the orb, she never successfully pulled it off. You don't know how far the orb would expand. It's an assumption. It's not, it's not evidence based on a feat. And there's Look, no statement, no statement stating how no, no. how much it would expand by. Dude, we've already seen the scan. It, it states that it was going to it was a start of a new time space, meaning it was going to consume all of our time space, right? It's a start of a new. Time we space. don't know um, if we don't know how it, far the time space extends. Well, we see stars in it. But no, we don't. Yes, we do. Not in this time space. Not in this orb panel. The ninja world. There was already stars prior to her using the ability so you're suggesting that those stars were created as a result of this orb because it's not how do you, no, no, how do you not saying, know saying, right? that the stars were already in existence in the solar system prior to her it, using it the ability okay, look, i'm gonna i can prove that anyway. it's an assumption it's, it's an assumption look, look let me talk dude okay so look if, it, if you have a dimension right right and it's gonna expand especially the time space of it right and we see like it have stars and stuff right then it's gonna consume all of it and reset the actual time space right and the thing is, it's not like it doesn't matter if the star was there or there or not, right? It's still consuming all of it, right? And it's still expanding. No, to it's that. not proven to it's have consumed more right? than a world, or even even what's happening. That, right? The new durability scales simple. No, it doesn't, because you haven't proven that it it scales to past past the the world that it's trying to influence. Wait, so I'm talking about this orb was space of her uh, Kukon, right? Yeah, but that Kukan. Over space, right? that okay, space going space, back right? to what I initially established space, very long ago. Because right? if you're assuming that the world is like a, a separate time space from the rest of the stars and stuff, you would have to prove that because that would be your like your claim, right? No, you, you had to prove to that dimension or space meant uh, that it was equal to a size that you're claiming, such as star, yeah, really, such as like, solar system, or whatever look, it was. The time space, right? Now, if you're talking about the time space, right? Time, space, and space usually consumes like uh, everything that you see, like in the, in the distance, because it wouldn't be separated. If the time space, if there's two separate time spaces, let's say it was a time space of a just a planet or something, right? Then you know you wouldn't be able to see like where the side passed it and stuff, right? And also you would have to kind of define what's separate. The logical assumption would be it would consume everything that like you see, like a dimension in space, right? Unless it's like you'd have to like prove that you're like uh, differences between it and stuff, and there's there's none of that. So the logical entailment here would be no. There is there is some somewhere. proof that actually okay. explain the the extent of the orb as well. Okay, go on. I mean, because we got audio. I ain't got audio. I'm gonna give y'all ten more minutes, bro. I'm gonna give y'all ten more minutes. Is that fine with y'all? Ten more minutes. Okay. There's okay. one other thing I want to address, right, with the Hagoromo thing. He's bringing up it, right. bringing up like an anti feat or something. But Hagoromo does this, right, virtually after he's beat, he's beaten like um, Kage, right, and he's said to be the last of his power, meaning he's weakened anyway. So it wouldn't even be a, it's not even a full power feat. So there's no contradiction. And like I said, you can go off like statements and stuff. And the, the, the expanding uh, truth seeking one was stated to, uh, was stated to, if that was going to consume the entire dimension and stuff.
and it is consistent with the whole like but you haven't proved how big the dimension is for all we know it could be moon level okay, no, in you size said gonna, you said you were gonna give me like no, i gave you like my definition you said you had like a counter maybe yeah you said but i countered it with this and you i stated you that or something okay let's see what is this and it says that you hence they must either be placed unknown or simply reasonable yeah, to their know, best feats if you don't know no, so i i scaled so i scaled her to her best feats because it's unknown the the extent of that orb look I'll, I'll actually because you're using versus wiki right versus wiki themselves consider like Kagi's dimension to have scars within it. hence they uh, they actually accept that they're expanding proof seeking orb it's like can you prove that? that no they do if you go on their website they do for that exact reason so that means go that, and prove actually, it. no because you're using versus from from, from their website using, from, using they, they, their they, in, from what i understand they didn't say that no, if you go, if you literally go on uh, Kagi's like profile, or be like the expanding truth seeking, or it's star level, and I'm saying the expanding truth seeking. No, uh, they they say that uh, she does not scale from their orb. Do you want me no, to share okay. that as well from there? No, like I can yes. share. Ex like if if we're going to use the wiki, that. let's use all of the wiki. Here we go. Okay, this is what they dude. stated. No, no, dude. no, no. Look, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm rebuttaling your point. This is this is from the same wiki, right? Hang on. It's from the same wiki. The attempts to make Kaguya scale to the expanse of truth seeking orb were rejected many times before. The primary reason is because this attack required an amount of chakra greater than her own. No, I, I proved that she had all of his chakra originally and she had to contain all no, of No, you didn't. You actually proved things. otherwise. You said that the, no, the chakra that. came from the tree because you shared a yeah. panel that said that the tree yeah. was the one that okay. gave the chakra. You also proved that the orb required shinobi sacrifices and it, it took That's thousands of years of prep time to use that we don't use prep time unless if you state so in a versus battle you that you're going to give prep time for a person to use their it's abilities the I'm using, right? it's, it's a full power Kogia. Look, you're using the full powered prep time kogia no, no, that has an ability that's very that's There's very no specific to a certain situation the the there is prep time if, if she if she had never allowed thousands of years for that tree to grow and then eat the fruit of that tree then she never would have had power yeah, in the first that, place oh, Look, like I said, you could process something. You could like be like, you could like process uh, like raw material or make like a weapon. You can make like a sword and stuff. But like, you know, it's swing and stuff would scale to you and stuff, right? And that's what I'm saying here. I'm saying that it doesn't matter where it's from. If she's a parasite, whatever, because it, she inherently takes it. It in, does right? matter where it's from. You can contain it. It scales to her durability. I mean, it does it. matter where it's from. Because look, if you look that's, at the actual orb panel itself, it says, it's, it all literally all says that uh, and that's all I need. in it, from shinobi chakra extracted using the infinite sukiyomi you will all become sacrifices meaning in order to use the orb she has to sacrifice people yes, she has to, use to she has to use all those kind of things because from her base yeah, chakra base. alone she cannot perform this ability you chuck her on a planet that's already drained like momoshiki's planet if you chuck her on a planet like momoshiki's planet and she tried to use the ability she couldn't so that's why she doesn't scale from it Hadorama took all of his chakra and stuff like afterwards that's why she had to regain all of it in the first place. If so she I'm was on this planet, on this planet, her has, basic... Has it look, she, uh, it doesn't, she because her basic I, casual attacks do not scale to the orb at all. Okay, look, she she wise, never was proven feet-wise to actually inflict, let's say, universal or solar system or, or even star level damage using okay. any of her other abilities, okay. except for this particular orb was probably the one that would be most likely to do that much damage. She had, she contained all of his chakra in her body, right? And she was actually able to contain it to a degree that she didn't blow up, meaning it scales to her durability. And even if you use well, like the Newton's third law and stuff to be able to project this kind of KE, this kinetic energy, she needs to be able to resist the counter force of it, meaning her durability scales. And we also know- She didn't actually contain it all in her body though. though. If there's attacks that can be strong, right? And you're producing this kind of KE, that also proves that like she can resist the counter force. Like if you throw a punch, for example, right? You need to be able to tank that punch, right? And we're talking about the vacuum fist here. So now, if all of this stuff kind of proves that it scales to her, like, stats, right? Then what actually happens is it scales to, like, her AP. Now, if her AP becomes that level, I'll prove my point, and that she's above moon level. Easy. But durability doesn't necessarily mean AP. No, I'm not saying it does. I'm saying if somebody cuts your durability, right? Somebody can cut through or harm you, right? And scale to, like, wherever you... you know, so their AP scales to your, like, durability, right? And they have that certain AP, right? And if she can swap hands with characters, do you want scans for that? And if she can swap hand like Hag like we, we know she swaps hands with like Hagoromo and stuff, right? Then she scales to it herself. And like I said, like you know, there's other ways to prove it, like the whole punching analogy and stuff. And like, well, she 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 doesn't scale to it because she can't use this ability without what I said. Like if you chucked no, her on saying, this no, planet, if you chucked her on this planet, she never would have used the ability ever. If you chucked her on Momoshiki's planet, she there's nothing to drain. There's nothing to use. The, the, the 
Hokage that had to use it, right? And it was the one who had to regain her chakra and then reset the time space of it. Yeah, but it's not just regaining. It's gaining chakra beyond her own. What that means is that there's a difference between <laughs> regaining That's and gaining beyond your own. She does not have enough chakra to use the, the ability on her own. She actually she, has to. No, she she, no, no li, stop cutting me off. She literally has to consistently drain chakra from Shinobi in order to uh, maintain the ability. How we know that's proof okay, look, is that when she got you know, sealed, she, 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 the she, orb she, she, immediately cancelled. Whereas if she, if she, if she, if she didn't need, if she didn't need to be consistently feeding the orb chakra, then the orb would have stayed regardless of her being sealed away. But it didn't. Look, look. Listen. The, the, no, the orb PCM instantly dis disappeared the moment she was sealed away. Most of the Shinobi Alliance, right? And this is only with a fraction of his power. He can buff them all by three times Kakashi level, right? So thousands of Kakashis, right? No, not every ninja is even remotely near that level because we know he scales to like, the Biju and stuff, right? So what's essentially happening here is, right, even Naruto himself has like a majority of his chakra and stuff and she was easily able to like contend with a way stronger Naruto, a six path Naruto later on, right? I guess this just kind of proves that she she would lose she had like uh, kind of like lost her chakra and she like regained the chakra afterwards, right? And now if you have all the chakra and you've like kind of gained it, it doesn't matter like how you're getting the chakra, whatever, right? If you've gained all the chakra and you can contain it, because it is stated that it relates to her stats. I think Zetsu states so, right? But it exponentially increases her stats, right? So that's just more evidence it kind of scales, right? If it scales to your durability, right? Because like, you know you contain it, you you don't explode, right? The whole like Newton's third law, right? And then people can harm you. It relates to your AP regardless. Is that you know? You'd like, have to show that she was she was, like, going, she was going to be affected by the, the the ability that she's using, but she never actually uh, was 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 proven to like be harmed by her own ability. Like if you're going to throw a punch, right, the punch directly hurts your hand. Whereas when she throws this orb, she starts it far away from her, so it's not actually no. going to harm her. Okay, no, no. Well, so no, she wouldn't scale off the orb regardless. I, no, regardless. I was using two different like uh, analogies. One was to the vacuum. Yeah, but you, you, no, but you gave the game example of punching. It's the fist being yeah, hurt yeah, that makes it scale to durability. durability. No, the punching thing relates to the to the vacuum fist thing where she punches. Um, the other thing, right, relates to Newton's third law. Projecting a certain amount of energy requires a counterforce, right? If your body can like you know throw that kind of force, there needs to be. Yeah, but there's no counterforce if she's completely away from the start of the ability. Because you say yourself, right? She's like reconstructing or using the energy that she already has. So if anything, you've helped me prove this because it's not. No, like I haven't. I didn't say that. She's not bringing out thinner. She has to contain all of this, right? And then she has to project it. Now, if you can project it, there has to be a counterforce. I was saying that she was obtaining the the chakra from other places. Okay, like yeah. Her, you know, having not, not from her, her not, right? she's not she taking her own ability. chakra and then reconstructing. And the whole like uh, fist analogy, right, was related to a vacuum fist being stayed. Potentially, it could like become the strongest ability she has, meaning it would have to scale to the expansion. It would scale the, the ability, scale. not her. And that would scale to her punching force, obviously. But it's not a punch. It's a it's an orb that she she projects no, separately to her, so she's not getting damaged by it. It's not her durability. Dude, that's a separate thing. I'm talking about the, the fist thing. But oh, okay, if, I'm talking about the fist thing the too. Thing. Oh, so you're talking about the vacuum fist thing. What about that? Yeah, that's well, the about. vacuum fist thing is, is, is an ability that was just scaled off whoever she used it on, which were richer people that are weaker than her at this time, so it's relevant. But, the, it but if, you, if you were to use the principle not, that when she uses the fist thing, it comes from her fist, right? So therefore, in order to use it without her fist blowing away it's a and, and being hurt... Ability, right? she, you know, yeah, but in order for her to not be affected by her own abilities, she'd have to have enough durability, right? But yeah, exactly. but in this case, but no, but in this case, she's not actually using her fists, her body, or any part of her body that would be she affected so by the ability. The ability like, starts. The, no, I'm talking about. I'm talking about the orb. The orb starts away from her. Okay, now see how we're talking about the orb. Okay, so we established the hacking fist thing. Now the orb, right? Now, I'm not using the, the fist analogy for that because that's different. I'm using the Newton's third law analogy rather for this one. To and I'm using that on the orb saying that it doesn't scale the, because it's uh, not uh, on her. Uh, uh, I no. think and also the whole normal uh, thing is uh, uh, anti feet. So y'all can fucking do our conclusions, man. Let's go to conclusion. Uh, okay. Did, I think I established first, so maybe you can do conclusions first. No, you can go first, it's fine. Like, but, no, because okay, I went I conclusions you, you were first last time. Then, you were trying to explain something at the end last time anyway. Alright? I went you were for to first in conclusions right last time, so it's only fair that you go this time. Oh, fuck it, fine. It, it doesn't matter anymore. Oh. Okay, so, 
essentially, I'm going to break this down really simply. I, I, you know, I think I want, and I think I stayed on topic as well. So he claimed, right? He claimed that Kagi was like moon level because like the best feat shown by Haga Roma, right, was like this moon level feat. But then I kind of proved that like um, Kagi also has these like star level feats, and it relates to her, not just her durability, right, but to her actual AP because. You know, if you're able to like project a certain amount of energy, right, they need to be counter force, you need to resist it. it also uses like the fifth analogy, right? So, you know, it scales to durability and AP, right? So now if we have that right, right, then we can kind of prove that. Then we went we also beforehand we talked about like the actual size of the dimension and stuff, right? We kind of established in Kukon space and stuff. And that yeah, it contains the star and stuff, right? And the reason it contains the star is because like there's no differentiate like you know, time spaces and time space can shoot what you see. Otherwise, they'll you know they'll be really really hard to prove. Otherwise, like they'd have to be like some sort of like unnatural entailment. But anyways, going like along with that, so proving that it's star size, right, and the durability and AP, I, I proved that, right. And he was literally there's no way he couldn't there's no way he could like rebuttal that, right. So now moving on, right. Then he wrote, you know he talked about the moon level stuff, and then I said that's not rel relative, right, because that other star level uh, stuff, right, can still like pr pr prioritize in front of that, and the reason for that is right because. The feat Hogger Romo does, he was heavily weakened. Even in his scan, he showed it says like he did it after Kagi's fight and that he used the last of his power, right, alongside Hammer. So using the last of his power, so it doesn't matter. Like it doesn't matter how good like, the feat is, right? He was weakened doing this, and we don't actually know why. So it's not a contradiction or, or an anti-feat, is what I'm trying to claim. And I think that's it. That's my closing statement. And I think that I did more than enough. Oh no. All right, so the, the reason why I think that I won as well and I did more than enough to disprove every one of your statements and go further and prove my points that they were actually um, more consistent with the story was that uh, the, there was a reliance on the title alone and there wasn't any rebuttal from the manga or the anime proving that this particular ability was actually used to create a dimension. There was no physical uh, evidence from a panel showing that, like, let's say, Kaguya said, I'm an Ominaka, here's the dimension. So he never established that. However, I did show evidence to show that it's a teleportation ability, and I further established it by actually reading the panel as opposed to just relying on the title. And the panel itself explains that it's teleportation. And then I also gave other examples that it's just name titles um, and of Temata Universal and Kurama turns the world to ash, but those aren't necessarily factual statements unless proven by feats within the actual manga or, or the, the anime show itself. And there was a little bit of a, uh, he established a point about space in the panel, but he actually um, translated the, the word incorrectly to mean dimension when, and he never supported any evidence to, to suggest that it was dimension used in the panel. Therefore, we can further acknowledge that the panel itself was a mistranslation and it should have been something else like space as they did translate it for the orb to be in space. So we can assume that uh, this isn't the most accurate translation, and therefore it's probably more leaning to the teleportation side of things than creation, because the only thing that proved that it was creating was the title, and the title itself has been proven to be flawed. And then we look at the ability itself. I, I clearly demonstrated that she can't use this ability without sacrifices, prep time, and an infinite Tsukuyomi, and uh, many other re requirements, and that this, uh, her chakra was originally given to her from the divine tree and that the divine tree itself was stated in the panel that he shared that it's the source of chakra and it's the thing that that allows people to obtain chakra so that would not um necessarily suggest that it was hers to start with it's not all her chakra and um and then and then lastly that um he agreed with me that the chakra would be going down and we see characters go down at least. And I also established that um, Chakra is not permanent with Kaguya. And I gave examples of Momoshiki as well as her. And so basically she can't use this ability. Um, as we discussed in the wiki that she doesn't scale from it because it's been rejected for the fact that she uses um, Chakra far greater, far greater because of the prep time and all the abilities that she needs to, to use it than her own. So she can't use this ability whenever she wants she can only do it under certain prep time requis um uh what do you call it conditions and therefore she doesn't scale from the orb she scales to her best feet and because we haven't seen the extent of the damage of the orb we know that it's unknown therefore it scales to her best feats which would be moon plus which was what i established before about Hagoromo and hamura and the fact that the two of them together 
were, were, were necessary to um, finish the fate, that would um, instantly counter the fact that Hagoromo did it with the last of his chakra because he would never been able to do it without Hamura. So he still needed help in order to achieve that feat. 50% or even, you know, it doesn't, we don't know how much Hamura actually really helped, but all we know is that he never could have done it without Hamura. So the best that we can give him is Moon. Alright, so y'all both done concluding. Yeah, okay. Like y'all both done. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. Am I allowed to say other stuff? Like, no, I mean, don't really attack his conclusion. But did you think? Do you think you properly concluded what you wanted to say? Don't don't bring up new points. Don't even. Am I allowed to bring up points? Like, no, I mean, am I allowed to tackle like his conclusion? Like, like. No, 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 no. Okay. So to accurately like decide who won this. Um, I'd have to go like by like each point y'all said. It's like the, the main point was like, let's go back to the Hagoromo thing and like Kaguya. So, um, that's like Happy saying it's like really her only feat, right? And I think that he accurately proved that, um, for like that he accurately proved that there's no way that, um, the expansive truth seeking or right would be like actual, actual feat for her. For her. Right, because you can go up statements, you can go up like, and it also stated that it was going to consume and destroy her time space and stuff. Uh, yeah, but but I'm talking about what's talking about what happened. He accurately proved like why the um I both debated good. Like I can't say y'all both debated like y'all both, both debated good. That's what I'm saying. Y'all both debated good. I wanted I want to say stalemate, but I don't I don't like doing that bullshit. So you go like like you know what happened during the debate, but I think Happy accurately proved. His points just more, right? And it, even if even if Happy did win, right, it's still high diff. Like I still like it's, it's still contentious. That was really, really. Yeah, high. I'm, it's still it's still contentious that I even like you know what I mean? Because like there's certain points in the debate where I thought that you won, right? But it's just that like towards the end, even in his conclusion, right, when he went over everything, he did accurately prove. Oh, so I'm saying like, but I I still did think that right, you know. That happy like it, it, accurately, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and, and by the and by the way, by the way, and by the way, I'm happy. I don't. I don't really like. I really don't want to give you the point at all because you definitely was just over talking bull the whole time. It's like it's yeah, not I'm okay. Sorry. Yeah, sorry it's not okay that. at all. But I mean, I can't. That's what I'm saying. I don't even want to give a really a judgment to this because like I both debated good. I both like rhetoric. Yeah, both y'all shit was good. So I'm not gonna say no one won rhetoric. Y'all just, you know, still made each other. So, I mean, I want to say, yeah, I'm saying it comes down to like what happened. To me. But the thing is, um, it's still contentious. I don't even know who really won, but if I were to, if I were to give, yeah, all right, see. Let's see, but I. Like, but from what I from what I saw the from, from what I just heard, um, happy one extremely like extremely high difficulty. It's like it's closer than a stem. It's closer to a stem than actually a win. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's closer to a stem than actual win. Okay, now it, it's judgment. Yeah, so that's closer to a still. It's closer to a stalemate, but you know, if if I were to give like an answer throughout the whole debate. Happy would have won extremely high, dip, like extreme, oh, so extreme difficult. Like a similar case to what happened in, in the previous debate. Like you had, you given it to me, but then other people had said that, you know, it was like a stalemate or something. Yeah, I'm saying, I, I, as I'm saying, like I do think it's still like a, like you can like I have to look at the recording too, even so, but I still think it's like a shit. Like, I would even, like, bullet, I would even take like if I were you, I would even take this as because. I don't. I don't think you understand. Like, like I was like writing down on my notes and shit. Like, my my, my vote changed like six times throughout the debate. So, Wait, what do I wouldn't even write? really take it as a vote. I was writing down my notes like who, who I thought was like winning at the point at the like, at the moment, and my vote changed like six times in a row. So, like, you know what I mean? So, I don't. I don't. I don't really. So wait, what, what are the people? What's the, what, what are the people saying? Um, they're saying they're. It's like mixed. It's bullet and happy. It's mixed. I mean, they're. I mean, of course, people people don't like happy, so they're not going to release, really which is fine. I understand. Yeah. yeah, they just don't like him. So that's pretty the reason why they be hating on him. Yeah. No, but, but, but didn't that, yeah. that happen like last time? It was near like you said you'd no, 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 no. debate. 
I mean, then like yeah, the whole, like, yeah, yeah, but the, but yeah, but then they voted they voted for happy at like in the end after explaining themselves. But at the end of the yeah, day, no, that's right? what I'm saying it's the same thing, right? Hmm. What'd you say? It's not like the same thing though. Like you know, you'd given the, the previous debate to me, right? But then like I mean, yeah, became, like, equal yeah. because of uh, what the people said, right? Yeah, we can equal yeah, the people. Yeah. Say. I, I still, I wouldn't, I want to make it a stalemate, but I, I, at the same time, like who would like stalemate? I'm saying it's closer to a stalemate than when it actually be a yeah, W. That's what I'm saying. That's the difference between yeah. last time. Last time it was like you, you'd given a debate to me, right? And it, it wasn't like mm-hmm. as close as it is now. And then it became equal because of the the voting and stuff, right? But this time around, the whole like, thing was like, right? The, yeah. This time, like, uh, what do you call it? The people I like, voted for me, right? So is that how it would function? I mean, and and, and yeah. Well, I mean, you can do that also. But also, we can like relook it because I honestly, so I was like, yeah. So uh, if you want to keep it consistent, we can do that too. But we can also like have people look at a recording and shit like that. I look over it too. But yeah, bro, it was either even if I say like it, like if you won or he won, I just y- y'all like at the end of the day, I would still say 